Okay, I'm apparently live. Let's see how this goes. Am I live? Are we live? I think we are live. Yes, very much live. Oh, all right. So anybody that was in before, let's see if I can get some peoples to join me because I'm so lonely. Um, let me see if I can work this properly with my old shitty Windows machine. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, anybody that uh, is watching this, check out Frog Leap Studios. He's amazing. Waiting in for you. Okay, and where is Mike's Mac reviews? Hey, Mike, if you're about and you're watching, dude, you want to jump in? Give me the word. Hey, Sim Cunty McFuckoff. That is the best name ever. Oh my God. Um, all right, I've sent out some invites. Where is good old? Um, where am I? Hello, 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 it's I can see Dave. You, I can't hear you. <laughs> am I? Whoa, wait a minute, it should be there. Turn your volume up, my dude. <gasps> it's Dave. I can see you, but I can't hear you. Oh my god, we! I have to come over there and sort your shit. Where is? Um, hold on. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see if I can get a few people in here. Just check my settings. Hey, getting loads of noise, all. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. It was at my. It was at my end. It wasn't at yours. <laughs> I figured. How have you been, dude? I haven't talked to you for ages. I'm not too bad. Uh, ribs, ribs are starting to mend. So. Oh, that's good. A uh, bit twingy every now and then. They, they let me know they're still there. <laughs> Yeah, uh, um, well, it, it's a time difference, isn't it? It is, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm getting getting on. <laughs> oh, I've got something to show you too. Hold on. I think you'll appreciate this one. I got a freshly charged set of batteries just so I could show you. Here you go. Ooh. Yes. Ooh. Review is going to be out for it. It is amazing. <laughs> oh, is that the um, 2700 one? Yep, TAC 21. Oh, yeah. my God, it's so beautiful. Oh, oh. there's me. I'm, look what I'm on. Hey, look, <laughs> I pulled out this. This is actually not bad. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's it's very dull. It's just I've that hard. You done for it, but it's it it's so dull. Like it's not as colourful as what I thought it'd be. Right. Just wouldn't match my eye colour. That. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go the eye colour. Oh my god. Oh, oh mate, well, those dog... ribs must suck. Yeah, it's a leaning forward so they can. The uh, laptop keyboard that's doing it at the moment. Oof. That's why I keep on moving back and back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> and I've noticed I'm not hitting the keys hard enough because I'm leaning. <laughs> we need to get you one of yeah, those. Um, 
Hold on. We need to get to one of these, dude. Hold on. <laughs> Maybe I should just plug this in. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, we need to get to one of these. <laughs> and no, I'm not sponsored by Razor, but one of these, man. I'll be fine. I'll be fine this week. I was hoping to get some reviews out this week, but just couldn't do it. No, I've got – what have I got coming up? Um, I've got to re-record my TAC-21 review because it's not great. Just because uh, – You're jumping in and out, Dave. It's that crappy internet connection. You look. Really bad. I've had a new that much rolls. Robo Dave. Oh, where am I? Oh, you're going to get the move. I've got like 15 years of you're in and out Dave no you throw and you broke no. yeah. uh, you could be YouTube it's been being a bugger for the last week on okay. people but it's been really it a miss it has but yeah, for you know longer I've had a couple of issues with my internet here at home. Uh, I'm, I'm really itching to see if Amazon are going to come out and do something decent. All right. Yeah. That'd be all right because I, I don't know what it is. I think YouTube has decided, oh, well, we're, um, we're, we're doing perfectly well, so we're just going to fuck everybody else over. <laughs> We've oh, been doing that. You've been doing that since took over it. <laughs> what? That's the thing. I mean, YouTube was great. It was was really great before Google took it over. And well, you know, mm. I think they're after offloading it myself. I think they'll try and offload it to to Disney or someone. I don't know. I I just think they need to put a bit more money into it, and I think they need to put some more actual human beings looking after things because this is just. Yeah, the way it is now is just shit. Well, I don't know if you see me post. Somebody reported my channel as um, being aimed at kids. Yeah, what the fuck is with that? <laughs> well, oh, it's obvious that an adult. It's obviously an adults put a kid on their own bloody um, channel, and as it's gone through, it's picked up mine, and mine's been next. So I just got on to him and said, "Look." I've got restrictions on. I've got age limits on. It's on my disclaimer. I went, I'd look at it, come back, said, yeah, we've listed, lifted the restriction. <laughs> Absolute bobbins. All uh, right, people. I hate people. <laughs> I don't have a problem with people. I just have a problem with people who are idiots. Yeah. <laughs> Um, put this you put this out as going live or have you just gone live and invited me i went in live oh. ah, got mike coming ah. in i'm gonna see if um chris is gonna Hi, jump mike. in too mike dude you're right mate yeah not bad how are you sec. doing that's better yeah <laughs> so just had to mute the stream it's... Oh, on the uh, on the computer through your yeah. to put it through your earphones. Yeah, I was hearing three conversations in. <laughs> see if I can. How is it? Was your leg going back at you? Oh. Yes, Mike, your beard does grow quickly. It does. It does. I'm not called Grizzly around here for any for no apparent reason. 
go oh. for one myself without even trying. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, how the fuck is everyone anyway? Oh, I'm alive. I know that feeling. Me too. Yep, I definitely know that it's feeling. Sore. It's sore. Of course, you had a fall or something, didn't you? No, I only went forward. You only went forward. Jesus. You're getting old, mate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Damn. But, um, I am old. What are you on about getting up? I've got to go for the. Bone density scan. Oh, that's going to suck. A what scan? Bone density scan. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, uh, see, maybe that's a problem, or whether it's a couple of old injuries. Uh, right. Just opened up. Well, I've been on steroids for years, so. Right, oh, you. look who just joined. <laughs> Holy fuck. <Yes>. Good <laughs> evening. <laughs> What's up, Chris? Good evening, good evening. What's up, my dude? Hello. How the frick are you? I'm good, you? Yeah, not bad, not bad. Okay, I have a question for Chris uh -oh. and Mike. Uh-oh. Let me spam this out for you. What is the go with Sabs at the moment? Because I tried watching, I, I tried actually catching a show, and there was no show. Uh, or is it when was too... this? This past week. Last week. Yeah, uh, last week. Last week. Well, last week we were live. Like, yeah. Was it what? I went on tomorrow. Oh, there yeah, is we... one tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah. Or something over there, this, yeah. Yeah. Welcome. Ha I'm saying hello from the future, by the way. We stream from a dedicated Savage channel now. From whose? We we stream from a dedicated Savs channel now. See, that's why I would have missed it. Oh, Chris, you need to get your hands on this, dude. The uh, double battle? No, TAC 21. I Is got that the TAC 21? coming out in a couple of days. Okay. It is just amazing. Absolutely amazing. And I've got, I've got my, my matching black one, but it, it's sadly being retired for a time being because... You can't beat 2,700 battery life. I've just created the hashtag fund the pug as well on um, Patreon. <laughs> you really want that pug, don't you? I've just called it the, the TF fund the pug. It's just a fun to laugh. But... <laughs> it got me in trouble that saying get Chris a pug. I got in trouble with <laughs> I got some. Oh. Hey, what? Dave's dropping in and out. Yeah, I've just, I love just sent you the link to the channel. What this one? Yeah. yeah, I got it with my um my recoil uh, birthday order. That is I was so going to cool. get the um the grim green one, but um with my uh, rage mod, but it was like. I can either get my rage mod or I can get a hat. I think I'm going to have to get the rage mod. Yeah. Because, um, yeah, it's trying to balance what I'm going to buy and what I'm going to buy to review is, is starting to get really hard. So I'm just deciding I'm just going to, whatever I buy, I'm going to review. I don't care what it is. Yeah. I've just got this thing. and I'm having one of them. It's I so know. good. I don't think I can mouth to lung anymore. That's the problem. I've I forced myself to just so I can have this. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to admit, I am not enjoying the um, Let me, me uh, Aspire thing. Aspire? Which one have you got? It's the Mini Gusto. Oh, with the Nick Salts? No. Yeah. I can't get on with it either. No. Nah, it drives me out. It drives my mouth out. It drives my throat out. Oh, Chris, I'm going to do a vlog next month. My my vlog for next month is going to be uh, there's a, a vape shop actually opening about a hundred and something Ks down the road at the Gold Coast. Okay. And um, apparently, Bogan's going to be there. Oh. Yes, nice. that's going to be fun. Well, he's going to Expo, isn't he? So I'll get to see him there in person. 
Oh, yep. quite, I've, I've never been a big fan of his, but when when I started reviewing, I thought I'm going to go out and have a look and, and just watch some. And even though he swears a lot, which is, I, it, it's not really for me, but watching his reviews, if, if I can not listen to him swearing, he's actually really, really good at going into the, the mod. I'm really stoked with his reviews. I'm really yeah. enjoying it. Oh, Alana's in. Hi, Alana. And Matt and Carl and Colin <coughs> Valley Vapors. I'm watching my camera instead of watching the chat. I've just spanned it out <laughs> on my group for you, so you should get a couple more people jumping in. Legendary. Uh, yeah, the thing with the thing, Chris. Oh, do you know what? Really, really cool. I didn't expect that many of them to turn up, to be fair, and pretty much all of them were in. Sweet. Yeah. I, I was legit driving home. And I, as I punched in the message, you said, turn left. And I turned left. And then I looked at the screen and fucking cracked myself laughing and almost ran into another car. It was great. <laughs> he said he was on his way home driving. So I started doing sat nav voices down the cast and he listened. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> the, the wife sent me a text message and she goes, I saw you almost drive into that other car. What's going on? And because I was driving, I thought I can't message. I got home and sent her a message and I said, yeah, remember I was watching the live stream? Well, Chris told me to turn left. <laughs> yeah, that's the when you get a message back saying you're not supposed to be in the billabong <laughs> I'm going to try and record a sat nav voice that would be hilarious oh, have any of you not got the Ozzy Osbourne sat nav voice no oh god oh mate There's, honestly you can download an Ozzy Osbourne voice for your tom tom oh my god that would just be too good. <laughs> I mean, I, I, when I used to use Tom Tom, I used to have the Aussie Osborne. We used to have Darth Vader. I had Yoda. <laughs> Darth Vader would be sweet. Oh, who just has, has got tattoos? Voice. Hmm? <laughs> Dave, do you have do you have tattoos? No, I had one removed. Because I've been seriously considering getting a tattoo, but. It's really hard to say. I'm gonna have that on the body on my body for the rest of my life. What do I get? I just don't know. Uh, I've got a few. This is your man for tattoos. <laughs> yeah, I've got a few. Because you've got, you just went and got some new ones done, didn't you, Chris? Yeah, I've got. Well, I've got. Well, well not the latest one. I've got the Empire one now on that arm with the logo. Oh no. Nice. Um, I've got a half sleeve, probably in the process of being finished. Um, that was already there. Got that worked. That's new. Stars are being reworked, but that's that still to be finished. But the thing is, the hairs are growing back now, and I know by the time I get it redone, he's got to shave it again. And I'm going to look like Chewbacca with a hairy bracelet again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chewy, poor Chewy. Uh, I'm so enough. glad you can't see that microphone. <laughs> I got, got that one there. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we've got to be careful. One. We can't make Dave laugh. He's got sore ribs, and I keep making him laugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one on the forearm is going to be a cover-up job. Oh, that's all right. Nah, uh, Biafra and Dragon, man. <laughs> looks, like an anemic, looks like an anemic dragon. <laughs> what's what's oh. Dave saying? His connection keeps dropping out, though. He's not having a good Does it, uh... No, shy. I don't know what that is that there. It literally sounds like Kelvin Guy's wearing a Man United shirt. <laughs> Ooh. 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 That, that one, that one was nice nasty. there. Oh, that, that one's nice. That's really that nice. That's, that's not finished yet. That's got to have uh, tattered wings done around it with blood all around them. No, Matt, see, I don't have kids yet. I've got my nephew here today. He's in the next room, but um, I don't have kids yet. I was thinking I about feel, I feel sorry for if I ever have kids. No, why? I reckon they'd be excellent. They'd be mm. like little demon children running around with monster cans <laughs> talking them at your head. Could you just imagine when he come out of school, though? Can we just speak to the mum? Well, we asked him could, where his homework was, and he said he hadn't done it. When we said, why? He said, why are you lying for? That wouldn't really go down well. Would it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> This teacher runs away. Why are you running? 
<laughs> yeah, dude, something about doing PE, running into the girls' changing room, screaming into me. It's just not really good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, that'd be so bad. Yeah, no, I don't think I'd ever have kids. Nah. I'd never, ever go to parents' evening because I'd just be too scared to what they'd tell me they'd done. Oh, God. <laughs> Why did you send them on a school trip with a GoPro? He's vlogging the trip. <laughs> I could just imagine one of your kids in, in assembly, Chris, just sitting there and all you get is, oh, Carl, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> See, Beck is definitely the most sensible one out of the two of us, but yeah, I, I wouldn't be allowed to be left alone with them. I'd be teaching them bad habits. Uh, no, I've um, I've got to go and get some more coils. I got a, um, a goon for my birthday in the Dreamer, and I've tried setting it up, and Mike, I wanted to ask you this. Mm -hmm. I've got it at about a point one six, but it's a really slow ramp up time. A lower, a lower resistance is better, isn't it, to get that that really hard hit? Uh, not necessarily. No, not necessarily. It depends what type of coil you're using. Yeah, uh, I had a fuse Clapton in there. I think fuse Claptons are a slow okay. ramp up coil. Yes. Yeah. Um, to be honest, if you want a quick ramp up, you want one of Shane's aliens. Well, I got some coming. I got some coming. Well, I mean, about about point one two, point one four. Yeah, one of Shane's aliens, and you'll have a nice fast ramp up time. <laughs> Sorry, Carl, not you, mate. <laughs> uh, you'll you'll get a nice um, quick ramp up, and you'll get a shit ton of flavour and a shit ton of fog. Mm. Well, actually, I, I almost got pulled up by the cops. I was driving home the other day, and um, I may or may not have blown a massive cloud out the side of the car. <laughs> and I pulled up at the lights, and the coppers pull up beside me, and he looks at me, and he does this. So I wind down my window, and he goes, is everything all right? And I'm like, what do you mean? And he goes, is your car on fire? Oh, <laughs> and, then, and then he leans his window, he leans his head out the window and he goes, fucking vapors. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I'll get that on a daily basis when I'm in my coach. Oh, it's, I would I'll love it. I'll get the white van man pull up next to me when I'm driving my coach. And every time it's, <laughs> you're on fire, mate. And I just hold up the mech mod like that. <laughs> oh, is, another boy. one of you not. <laughs> do you know what though have you ever had the thing where you're walking down the street it happened again to me the other day and it was so good you see someone walking towards you who's got a mod in the hand they don't let on to you or don't say ah oh, yeah as they're walking past you just go down with the mod they go and just keep on going <laughs> <laughs> yep no it's it's fun it's weird because you see other people driving down the road and you see this big fat cloud coming out the window and if you stop at lights and you see a cloud coming out, you, or instantly you look at where the cloud's coming from. Yeah. And then you, without thinking, you just blow a big fuck off cloud out the window. And then yeah. it's like Chris says, it's just like, yeah, okay. It happened uh, last year at Expo. I mean, I said to Becca, don't take the toll road because it be, wouldn't be that busy. Neither to say yeah. we got stuck in a two hour traffic jam. And um, there was no moving traffic at all. But there's just all these fellas in the, in the cars, stuck, not moving. And I'm just looking around, and every single one of them is in the car, just going, just, just with the mod, just looking at it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I just been out. No, you seem to be all right, dude. I seem all right at the moment, Dave. All right. I want to change bleeding earphones. <laughs> uh, oh. It came, Chris. What is that? <laughs> I was trying to do a message. It's a cast There it is. What have you got? That's the new S9, oh, mate. You got it. Oh. Did you go back to iPhone, Chris? Yeah. <laughs> Samsung just was just messing up. Oh, you got the X? Yeah. I um, went for the 8 Plus. I want to get the... Um, my computer has been giving me the absolute shits recently. <laughs> and I've decided I'm going to sell all of my shit. All of my computer gear, my 3D printer, it's all going to go. I'm going to buy myself a MacBook Pro, and that's it for me. So yeah, I got the, uh, I went with the 8 Plus. It's lovely to call it on. It's, lovely. it's just the whole thing's glass. Mm -hmm. Well, the I've got 10, the iWatch and everything. I'm a bit of an Apple geek. The 10's the same. The This is just, oh, it's 
Fucking beautiful. I love this phone. I really love my phone. I've got a, I've got a OnePlus 3 as well, but it's just for work. The OnePlus is meant to be good phones. They were. Um, it, it's just like everybody else. They've released like 15 different phones in the last 18 months, and it's no point. I can't keep up anymore. It's too expensive. Yeah. Oh. Okay, Andy. Everybody's in. It's good. Did I say see someone say that Vic's in as well? Oh, is Vic in? Oh, that'd be hilarious. Yeah, see how he's in. Oh, I am having to get Vic in. Yeah, how do you Vic? How do I? Because I'm that stupid. Um, oh. I'll see if I can. Send him an invite. I can copy the link if you want me to, too. Yeah, send it to him if you can, man. I still don't know this whole YouTube thing. I'm not trying a whole yeah. bunch of different shit. He's got the link. Sweet. Oh, I, I, can, need have to, a, uh... I can have a fangirl girly moment then. Oh, I did that the other night with one of my subscribers on Instagram. It was hilarious. Like, the first time, he just sent me a message saying, can I have a shout-out to one of the vlogs? I was like, yeah, yeah, cool. And then he sent me, a, like, an inbox message saying, um, oh, I'm live now. So I jumped into his Instagram live as the Empire account and just went, hey, are you? How's it going? And he went, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I'm nothing big. Stop it. Hi, <laughs> right, Joe. You're right, mate. He's here now as well. <laughs> Cloud Ripper reviews. Hello, dude. Yeah. I'm just going to oh, shut my door. My, my cat's done a run. <coughs> Why are you running? <laughs> oh, there's a new one now. I've been doing uh, Ugandan Knuckles all the time now. People think that's really cool. Ugandan Knuckles? The, do you know the way? You must have oh. Ebola to know the way. <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah, it's Frankie. That's Cloud Ripper reviews. He just started his channel. Oh, nice. Let's throw a open link in tab. I love how Dave's, I love how Dave's trying to laugh in pain, but his connection's dropping out, so he's sort of like hiccuping at the same time. He's like, oh. <laughs> Dave's sitting there thinking, you bastard, Chris, don't make me laugh. <laughs> I'm surprised he hasn't sent me a message saying that because Man United beat Liverpool the other day, didn't he? But... <laughs> oh my god. We all like oh. you a bunch of calm whores. My god. It's vaping with Vic on my channel. Hi, Vic. Hi. <laughs> oh. Chris, my connection is like a prostitute's nick. Because it's up and down all the bleeding <laughs> time. If the prostitute sounded like R2D2, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm going to play, I'm going to damage his ribs at this rate. How you do, Philip? He's going to change his name from the sulfur vapor to the crippled vapor in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next minute, you hear these sirens in the background. Dave's like, "Yeah, sorry, guys, got to go." I've broken my other side. <laughs> oh my god! Don't forget, it's catching. <laughs> I think I got I got my Virgin Internet connection installed, and Dave replaced it with Sky because that's what it looks like. What's happening? <laughs> 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 Oh. Tell you what, though, speaking oh. to Virgin on the phone, it's it's so much easier. You ring Sky and it's like, right, so before we get through to your, the next caller, can you do this word search and can you give me the password to this and can you give us your mother's fucking maiden name? And then the next thing you go to yeah. Virgin and you go, we're in your booth and it's on, there you go, enjoy. Yeah. The, the um, I, I, where I work, we deal with a lot of Dell um, equipment and Dell are the same. You call Dell and they're like, oh, so what's your name? Where do you work? What's your work phone number? 
what's your email? I had to ring Toshiba the other day to get a replacement. And they're like, oh, what's your name? Oh, yep. Yeah. And you're at TechPath? Yep, yeah, cool. Okay, we'll send it out to you. It's like, yeah. what? Dell, I used to have a Dell laptop. The well, I had a Dell laptop a while ago, and their tech support should have been, if your laptop is broke after three minutes of use, press one. If your laptop <laughs> is broke after 30 seconds of use, press two. Because literally my laptop, I had it for about a month, and it just fell to bits. See, that's why I want to buy uh, Apple. I've got, I had an old 2011 MacBook Pro. The only reason I got rid of it was because it was too big. Otherwise, I'd still have it. It's an amazing laptop. I've got a MacBook Air, but it's not powerful enough for what I wanted to do. I tried to render a video on it the day, and it sort of had a meltdown. Why the fuck would you want to buy Apple? You're buying technology that's like, what, three years old behind the curve if you buy an Apple product? Only two. Two okay, years. Funny, if I want to buy three. an Apple, I'll just go to a fucking greengrocer. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, for a laugh, you should get a laptop and just take a bite out of an apple and sell it to the front of it. <laughs> <laughs> Carl, me getting on the UK vape show is going to be a while because I've got to try and match up and organise a day off so I can actually be on the show. Yeah, because it's a hell of a big time difference between Australia and the UK. That's why it's a big time difference. Yep, it's quarter past ten in the morning here. So you're technically uh, in the future. Yeah, it's future in the future. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, don't buy stock in Vupu. I guarantee it goes down. <laughs> <laughs> I am not using a Sony brick, Robbie F. The, the phone I have happens to be a very nice phone. But on the big side, it happens to be a very nice phone. Thank you. They are good, the Sony phones. Yeah, I, I miss Sony. I loved my Walkman. It was amazing. My Discman was great. I have not a Samsung. There we go. That's the fella I'm using. That is basically a 42-inch Bravia that can make calls, isn't it? Yeah. Sony, Sony Xperia XA1. It's uh, one of their mid-range ones. Fucking love the screen on this. It's massive. Yeah, Huge Chris, screen. Oh, there's a 42-inch Bravia. Oh, there, there's a, there we go. If we're, if we're comparing E-Pins, I'll show you my wall, my wall-mounted TV. See, I need, that's what I need in here. I need a, a computer screen, like, well, not a computer screen, an actual TV over there, so that I can just go from this to Xbox or something and just play there. <laughs> <laughs> after, was... after, after Tuesday, that uh, Bravia is going to be my second monitor. Nice. I see my dad's got me a second monitor. I'm using a 27-inch at the minute for this, but he's got yeah. me a 24 to go next to it because I'm getting to a point where I need two monitors now. Yeah. How do you survive on just one, though? I've always had two. I want to go for the full game. I'm going to have three 27-inch monitors, but... No, go go a single 34-inch, dude. Oh. Believe me, single 34-inch, save you money, get a single 34. Are you okay, Andy? I'm in Queensland, dude, about 10 minutes outside of Brisbane. Oh, I watched the thing the other night. Um, you know the Ross Kemp? What gangs with Ross Kemp? Yeah, he did the motorbike gang of Australia, the, um, the bikies. Yeah, yeah, which one? Was, there's, was, there's, a, there's quite a few stupid. outlaw gangs in Australia. I don't know what they were called, but it was, it's basically is, banned, isn't it? The problem is, in Australia, the, they brought in a law a couple of years ago that you cannot be in a group, uh, you can't have more than three motorbikes in a group together wearing even semi-matching uh, like clothes like or anything. And <laughs> there was a funny thing. We, we were up on the north side of Brisbane and all of these uh, police bikes all pulled up at Macca's and they're all in there having a feed. So there was all of the, all of the group that I was with because I'm, I'm in a car club with Nissan Cubes. Don't laugh. Um, did, we, did, we all did you say up. Nissan Cubes? <laughs> yes. yes. <coughs> I've killed Dave. <laughs> So, yeah, we all pulled up and we all stood in front of the police bikes. And as they walked out, we all stood there and said, OK, we're going to perform a citizen's arrest because uh, it looks like an organised gang of uh, bikies. Or oh, it did not go down well. <laughs> I bet it doesn't. Not at all. <laughs> Isn't the major one you've got over there, the Banditos? Uh, we've got the Banditos and there's a couple others. But the thing is, even though where you go to where the bikies are, you never see them. 
Like yeah. the, even back before the prohibition came in, you never saw them. You'd see one or maybe two, but you never saw them in a group ever. Yeah, because there was that um, big shootout back in the eighties, wasn't there? Between uh, the Bandinos and another gang. Oh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but I, I just want to swap, mate. I want to give a shout out to Cloud Ripper Reviews. I subbed. Everybody should go and sub to Cloud Ripper Reviews. Uh, what was the name yeah, of the other I was like, I'll call them, I shouldn't call them gangs. They're clubs. They're not gangs. Yeah. Um, what was the other one? Comancheros. Yeah, the Comancheros were really big down in Victoria. They were huge. Yeah. Huge. But you don't go to Victoria. You stay away from Victoria. They're not very nice people. Okay. <laughs> Queensland. Sounds a, bit like, sounds a bit like Victoria in London. So you're going to say it sounds a bit like Vic then? <laughs> 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 the next video, Vic, Nick, he's just going to come on and he's just going to be sat looking at his camera but then turn down like a cut and just go, it's a Sunday. He's got a Stanley blade in his hand or something. Just <laughs> <laughs> Vic Vic his new channel, Vaping with Vic 1%. It's just like, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, Robbie, I didn't see that video. I'm I'm planning to do that this afternoon when I go to my local vape shop. I need to get over to Australia. That's one place I want to go. But the thing is, everything wants to kill you over there. You have to play it. And there's a venomous thing. Fucking everything bad. wants to kill you. Yes, it fucking is. No, I live here. It's fine. Believe you get me. fucking jellyfish that can kill you over there for fuck's sake. They're tiny. They're literally... They're, those, those box jellyfish are no bigger than this packet. They're tiny. Yeah, yeah they, they can kill you. Can't yeah, Black Widows are smaller than that. They can kill you. Well, actually, funny story. We're getting our house ready to sell, and I was I, we had an open house last weekend, and I walked down the hallway literally... Five seconds before the real estate walks in, and there's a fucking giant huntsman on the wall. I shit. I ran out and I said, "Nah, houses can't put the house on the market." And he's like, "Why?" And I said, "I'm setting the fucker on fire." <laughs> Mate, I'm See, you that's, 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 when you, yeah. that's when you just seen a fat white bloke like me turn into Linford Christie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go on. I'm Usain Bolt. I'm. I weigh 125 kilos, and I was fucking running. I hate spiders. I would have had a shotgun right there and then just at the wall, like, go on. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it, on, honestly, it's not bad in Australia. It's you, You've just got to watch out for drop bears, and you can you can never pick those motherfuckers. What um, the fuck is a drop bear? you got to watch out for cassowaries, apparently, because cassowaries, are, that, that will rip the shit out of you, even though I've never, ever seen one. Um, and you've got to watch out for Pauline Hanson, that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> um and you got to watch out for the women here because sometimes the women, no, no. As Vic would say, no, just no. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it, it, honestly, I, I've lived here all my life. I've never been bitten. I've never been chased. But I have seen a drop bear, and that should uh, fuck you up. It's a drop, a drop bear with that thing that looks like a koala that looks like it should be in The Walking Dead. Yes, yes, very much right. so. Okay. And it, See, it, when I, they drop out of trees and rip your face off. Well, someone was pranking me the other week saying drop bears, and I thought it was a piss take, and then someone photoshopped a bear. It was a koala bear with a mech mob with a drop RDA on top, and I was like, you're just fucking taking the piss now. This is not funny. <laughs> 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 and, uh, a couple of my friends invited me to go to um, New Zealand in 2020. New Zealand's uh, not bad. It, I think it's more like the UK, where it's just fucking cold all the time yeah new zealand's like lots of mountains lots of trees and lots of sheep yeah well you can keep the sheep but the mountains and that i'll have that i'll do bushcrafting all day long <laughs> i'm not welsh i'll go nowhere near sheep isn't isn't there isn't there some kind of playful ribbing in between i think it's the uk well sorry england and wales don't you guys just lightly pick oh, on each other but there's ribbing between all the different countries of the UK. It's been like oh, half yeah. for centuries. Because yeah. with, with us, we rib on the, the the Kiwis, the New Zealanders all the time, like having 
relations with sheep and they talk funny and it just fucked up. I thought there was something the same over there. I think Mike doesn't. Huh? Oh, my pedigree well is that that's what it is. Oh, I just thought it was funny when I started watching. Because Vic, I only subscribed Still to you. Up. I, I only subscribed to Vic what last last year, like the about mid last year, and Vic. I, I have three playlists on my big screen at work. I've got Empire Vapeco, Vaping with Vic, and Grim Green. I, yeah. I, I've I've put them up on my big TV in the workshop, so I've got one of each going, and whatever one I want to listen to, I just click on it and let it go. But and I have to say, Vic, your your WhatsApp. I've said this before, but your WhatsApp where you teach people how you do your reviews, I still watch it to this day. Yeah, I'm going to have to do an updated version of that because that's actually quite out of date now, that one. Mm. There's a there's been a lot of crap that's been going on in the background with YouTube that's made that previous video completely irrelevant now. There's a lot of stuff going on in the background with YouTube these days. Okay, where are, I'm, I'm not even looking. I uh, should ask TVP about the Welsh. He loves them. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I find it... I find it hard to get into TVP. Like, I, I love watching the UK Vape Show. I think he's fantastic on the UK Vape Show. I just haven't been able to get into his reviews and, and solidly sit down and watch them. I don't know why, but I love him on the UK Vape Show. I think it's fantastic. Well, I'm not being funny. Every person that watches YouTube has got their favourite set reviewers that they watch. Yeah. Yeah. And you know... And the two of my top five are in my are in my live stream. I absolutely love it. <laughs> Who's the other three? Well, apart from Grim Green that you've already mentioned. Um, my only other one that I watch absolutely, absolutely religiously is um, well, I watch Bogan now. He he yeah, would obviously. be in my top five. Um, who's the other one? Oh, is that good? Um, I can't remember. <laughs> I, wa I watch so many. I, I get in trouble because I come home from work and I come in. I come into my office, turn my TV on, and all I watch is vape reviews. I don't watch anything on YouTube. Um, the only other thing I watch is Mighty Car Mods. I watch them a lot. Oh, yeah. um, top five reviewers. Oh, Dean. Sorry, Dean. If if Dean watches this dude, I am so sorry. But Dean the Devil Vapor, fucking brilliant. I, oh, Dean, is Dean. Dean is also an oversized in Australia, apparently, as well. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, 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 my God. <laughs> no, Carl, oh, I can't shit. stand the vaping biker. He's just <laughs> the worst person to sit and watch. <laughs> <laughs> Are we live? Are we live? Fuck! I hate that guy. You've actually, you've actually oh, made up with him. Try not to make you laugh, but yeah, you're laughing too late. Oh, you've actually, but you got to do it? that again. You've got to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. it hurts to laugh, but fuck it. <laughs> 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 the one to kill you. <laughs> Poor Dave. You've killed Dave. Oh. Well, I stopped. <laughs> I stopped watching Dean the uh, the biker Dean a long time ago. A long time ago. A lot of people did. Yeah, we've actually made a yeah. drinking game now as well. It's you have to take a drink every time he laughs. You're fucked within the first five minutes of his review. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, we let me morphine kick him, please. <laughs> Dave, you need to get an attachment for it instead of having like an, an intravenous like morphine. Just put it in your tank and just start sub home vaping. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the pain that he's in right now. Look at it. He's just fucked. <laughs> Just I'm get 
say. Oh. Uh, I know it's on the Michelle it? now as well. <laughs> yeah, well, Dave, didn't he make it a, an update video a couple of weeks ago saying obviously those reviews are going to take a little bit longer because he's obviously got pain in his side. So why are we just going to be like on the side, isn't he, going, there's no reviews because you can't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, I was Chris, I was going to try and get some out this week. No fucking chance. We've got to try to bend around on the camera. Uh, no chance whatsoever. In the end, I just fucking flung everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can't well, review me. Now. You can't review me. You're in pain because your mind's on other things. Yeah. Like the pain, for instance. <laughs> uh, that's what diazepam and Jack Daniels is for. Yeah, um, Jack Daniels. I mean, it's, it's, it's like going to be watching um, Vic when he opens the box on that um, car badge mod. So I've just made he's going to open that box and go, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 actually, they actually sent me, they sent me an email last night. Hi, Vic, we sent you the fit, the, the little fucking pod thing. Can you please not review it because there's a problem with the pod? And I was like, I've, I've been using it fine and nothing happened. So I took out the second pod, plugged it in, and now the battery won't switch on. Oh, right. <laughs> oh. yeah. Innovation keeps changing the vaping experience. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the non-vaping experience. I, I, I was a massive Smock fanboy. Thanks, Chris. So was I. So was and, I. And when I, I think, when was it? Um, I was just after the big four battery mod came out and they started releasing all the bullshit. And then we had a big, huge thing here in Australia where it's, it's like you guys with, I think, Wismec. They've got one sole distributor, and all they were selling to was oh tobacconist. God. We had no shit. I walked into a tobacconist and looked at a, um, what is it, the, I think it was the, you know, the, the Priv mod with all the fucking weird lights? Uh, the the older one from, yeah, T-Priv. Walked in there and said, oh, how much are your T-Privs? Because I wanted to get a second one. $298. You're fucking that's, kidding me. And co- I said, oh, I, look, that that's just a little bit out of my price range. I said, but I do need some new coils. And she said, oh, yeah, $60. And I said, what, for a box? I said, that's the whole box, right? And she goes, no, that's just for one packet, five coils. What? I was like, fuck that. No way. That works out at about $3 a minute on a coil life from Smock. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, yeah, no, it's... Like I've, I, I only ever used to buy exclusively in Australia, but I actually did. Um, well, I've bought from, I've now bought from the US. Um, I'm doing up a fast tech order today, thankfully. Ooh, fast tech. Ooh, and ooh. and Nothing yeah, wrong with fast UK. tech. Eight, within eight days. Every eight time. Eight days, my ass. <laughs> eight, eight, days. Days, eight days, I get mine. Eight, 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 every time I put an order in on the eighth day, they're here. Fucking last order I took in fast tech, it took them almost a fucking month. Yeah, well, not, I think what I, I do, I do the uh, e pack. I pay for the e pack, which is only like one, the most I paid is $1.79. So oh, the other shit, Matt, no, didn't. Matt Chandler just goes, Did it come with a free G class? No, no, unfortunately <laughs> not. <laughs> oh, Vic, did uh, Vaponology yes. have trouble with the um, mace in the end? What? The Mace RDA. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me another bit more. Vic, the no, ENC has stopped responding. Uh, basically, yeah. I, I ordered the Mace RDA from Vaponology. Yeah. Uh, must have just after your review went up for it. All right. And yesterday, I got an email saying that they'd refunded me the money. Oh, oh, that's no good. Oh, so they. Oh, I'm, I'm guessing that, that they can't get the stock. It looks like they can't get the stock then, because that's the yeah. problem. See these, see these smaller companies. That's why I'm all, I'm always in two minds whether to actually review stuff from smaller companies because they always have an issue with stock. They can't yeah. keep up production. Well, that was a good idea. Idea. that one as well. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm going to hunt for it. I am going to hunt for it, and I will find it. Actually, Vic, I've got one of your subscribers um, who is a very good friend of mine. 
he only lives up the road. I'm going to message him right now and say, guess what? I am right with vaping with Vic and you're not. <laughs> and then and then just before he logs in, I'll log out and you'll be disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if he responds. He's probably a straight he's probably asleep. So I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you something on cam folks, right? Ooh. Don't set your joke here. Shut Ooh. up. I'm gonna show you something on cam folks, right? I'll present and it. I want and I want you to guess who made this, right? So it's a brand new R D T A style esque dripper thing. You're not presenting me, by the way. Yeah, I am. No, you're not. Yeah, I am. You've got to click on a little arrow and click present. Ah, right, hold on. Here we go. Try that. There we go. There we go. Now you yes. present me. Well, why it's flipping tells me mad how. But yeah, flippy top, right? Flippy top. So you've wow. got the way this Air thing's flow, rigged. Very goonish. Yeah. Two big posts. A single coil there. Airflow yeah. comes in here from, well, that's a kind of fill port, I suppose. Airflow comes in from the side, single coil there, wick hole, wick hole. Looks like a good bit of kit, doesn't it? It does. That is nice. Looks like a good bit of kit. Who is it's that? Not, I enjoy it. Who do you think made it? I wouldn't like to have a guess, actually. Don't not anybody believe. say anything. Could. You're not going to believe this. Kanga. What? No. Kanga. This is Kanger's new. This is Kanger's new. I I I don't know how the fuck you pronounce this. I I T A I T E tank. That's it looks like you say it looks like you're a saying Iron Scouts. I I. I. Yeah, this is Kanger's brand new I tank. It's their first full rebuildable. For almost two and a half years, it's probably still going to leak. I don't see. I don't know how this is going to leak because the bottom is completely sealed, completely sealed. Taking the thing apart is a bit of a pain in the ass, mind you. But you can take the it thing apart be. and actually clean it. But there you go. That's nice. That looks quite cool, actually. It's a it very interesting bit of kit. Very interesting, and it's dripper size as well. It's about the size of a goon. Actually, I I, I got a goon. I, that is the, one of the nicest RDAs I've tried in a long time. I don't, know if that was Mike, I don't know if that was Mike Burpin or Mike making a noise of sexual attention like he wants that <laughs> RDA thing. <laughs> <laughs> he just sort of looked down the camera and went... <laughs> Imagine him sort of looking down the camera and going, put that on a fucking back. <laughs> <laughs> oh god he's gone again <laughs> yeah dave's broken <laughs> Dave, the soul for vapor.exe has stopped responding yeah. do, you, do you wish to terminate this process it's like yeah, he put him out doctors. of his fucking misery it's like he went to the doctors with an infection and he gave him Norton to get rid of it isn't it <laughs> there you go there's a piece of shit software <laughs> use that <laughs> I love uh, that. I used to we used to run that in like the schools and things when I was at school, and it was like Norton's finished its scan. It found things, but fuck it, we're not getting rid of them. It's gonna just make it worse. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So Vic, I have a question for you. Well, actually, I have two things for you. Number one, fuck you very much for reviewing the G class because I had to buy one. <laughs> um, and. Are you ever going to do a review on the Squid Industries, either Double Barrel or TAC-21? No. Because, number one, I'm never going to buy them. And, number two, a lot of the vendors that I deal with don't stock them. So, I'm never going to get one. What if we were to send you one? I don't generally take things from other reviewers or subscribers. I'm, I'm kind of that way, you know. Because I would, I would love to hear what you would say on it. It is. Why is Chris waving? No, it's. I, I, I love mine. I don't. I, I'm very picky with mods, and when I got the G class, I used it solid for about a month, 
and um, I had to stop using it because it started to get a little flaky. No, no, I got the black one, but it started to rub off the um, the um, the clear coat. No, the the paint on the bottom. Yeah, the cotton. Where, where you oh, you got down. the black one. Yeah, all black. Oh. oh. I've I've done something here. No, you haven't. I think I have. No, it's it's working now. Yeah. So, because all of my mods, I try and keep as clean and nice as possible. Um. Like I can, I can pull out almost any mod that I've got here. Well, okay, here's one. Here's my Revenger. It's got, I would say, about thirty thousand hits on it, and it looks brand new. But I was really disappointed because it's starting to get this tiny little bit of paint wearing off on the bottom. But the worst one, the absolute worst one, is the GTRS V Boy. It looks like it's been through the wars. It is just destroyed. What the hell have you been doing with it? I use it. it. It sits in my car. It sits in my cup holder. I really shouldn't do that anymore. But, and I bought this one because of you, Vic. And this is a really just, great. Just one. blame me for everything. Why don't you? <laughs> well, the, the wife says, my, my wife, she goes, we, because I started watching you religiously. Every afternoon I'd get home from work. Okay, vaping with Vic's new review, I'll sit down and watch it. And now she's getting to the point where I'll come home and I'll disappear into the office and she goes, you better not be watching that dude. And I'm like, why? And she goes, if you're going to watch him, you come out here. So I go out into the land room and, and, you know, she'll be in the kitchen, she'll be cooking and I'll put you on and you'll get about halfway through it just after your table cam and, you, you know, you do your high wattage test and she'll look at me and she'll go, don't you fucking dare. You're not <laughs> buying it. You can watch it, but you're not buying it. <laughs> And I'm not the only one that happens to. That happens to a lot of people, actually. And your your WhatsApps, um, normally they come out when I get to work, and I'll, I'll catch a sneaky 15 or 20 minutes. But when I get home on a Monday afternoon, I'm thinking I'm going to wait, I'm going to leave it. The wife and I can sit down and watch it together. I'll get home and she goes, oh, what did you think of Vic's WhatsApp? I'm like, <laughs> fucking hell. She's already watched the whole thing. She's what she's probably watched it three or four times by then. It's like that's not fair. Not fair at all. There you go. Question from Cloud Ripper Reviews. What is the hardest part about starting your YouTube channel? Or what was the hardest part of st about starting your YouTube Ooh. channel? I'll let you guys answer this because I'm only fairly new and then I'll jump in at the end. <laughs> on you go, on you go, Chris. I see you thinking away. Yeah. No, I was, I was starting this channel. The probably the hardest part would have been leaving the old one behind because of the following it had built up to then go from zero again. Um, but the hardest thing nowadays about starting a YouTube channel would be because there's that many other reviewers. Um, oh yeah. And it's just harder and harder. And I think I started this channel probably at the very end of when you should have started one really i mean yeah. not true to a certain point i mean michelle's flying and stuff but i know she's got obviously the backing of all those and stuff but i think if you look back it was what is it nearly two years now since i started this it's approaching two years um two years yeah i'd probably say i was one of the last people to start a channel when it was sort of still not new but not as saturated as it is now yeah but by all means, don't don't let that put you off. Start a channel. You could have something unique. You could be mentally ill like me and just make ridiculously <laughs> stupid videos. And... <laughs> I don't know how I have this amount of subscribers. I think they're all psychiatrists waiting for a call. That's what it is. They're all just lining up. They'll, they'll just get out to call us in a bit. Look at last Monday's video. That's that got me in so much trouble. Your Monday vlogs, oh, my God. I am in so much trouble when they come on. <laughs> Because I've got, where I work, I've got two workshops. I've got the main workshop where everybody works and then I've got my own personal little workshop, which you've got to walk through the main workshop to get to mine. And because I've got it, I've got your, you up on the big TV, I've got speakers in the roof and I start laughing. <laughs> and the first time it happened, my boss was bringing in a rather large client. Like this dude would have put, two or three million dollars a year in revenue just to our business 
and you're there, you're going off your tree about something. I'm literally on the floor holding my stomach and the boss walks in. <laughs> <laughs> and he looks at me and he goes, I'll talk to you later. And he goes out and he comes in about three hours later and he goes, so tell me what happened. And I said, well, you know how you let me put that TV on the wall? He's like, yeah. And I said, well, I was watching one of my, one of the guys I watch on YouTube and he was going off. I can't remember what it was about. And my boss stood there and he goes, I want to watch it. <laughs> so anyway, he started watching it and he goes, um, am I going to have to ban you from watching that at work? And I'm like, why? He goes, <laughs> well, <laughs> and yeah, it's a religious thing now. Every vlog that you bring out, I start watching it. Everybody shuts their doors. Everybody leaves me alone. <laughs> Just no, don't, don't, don't go into Damo's workshop when the vlog's out. It's not the true. thing is, though, that that Monday video was meant to be like a serious sort of what's been happening in the news, what's going on, what's news coming, and it's just turned into a complete train wreck every Monday. <laughs> oh, it's so good. But if I, I just want to touch on um, that, if for me, as starting my channel, um, I have severe social issues and getting starting a youtube channel was a big thing for me was trying to break out of that a little bit and be a little bit different um and actually talk to people and and force myself to be social but the worst thing for me is i sit there with um uh i've got an app called youtube count which counts the subscribers so i've got in here um, the Sulfur Vapor, Mad Hatter, Tony Z Sig, Kimmy Vapes, Empire Vape Co, Vaping with Vic. Um, and I know this is probably a bad word, but Jay Hayes as well. Um, I, I kept, I started watching the numbers like, oh, I've got another five viewers and oh, I've, I've got another subscriber. It's it, wow. And I, I used to freak out about it. But now I just, I check it to see. If if I'm still growing and if if it stops, then I know I've got to do I've got to release another video or I've got to try and I've got to try and interact more. And for me, it's a measuring tool to see how well I'm opening up on camera and how how much better I'm trying to get. But yeah, definitely talking to a camera is really hard for me. It, it does come naturally over time. I mean, when I first started, my first ever video on this channel is still up, and it was. It looked like it being filmed on a potato for one, but it's just like yeah. I'm just sort yeah. of sat there and I'm like, so uh, yeah, there's there's uh, there's a shop coming soon and you should go and buy stuff from it anyway. Yeah, bye. It's just like <laughs> now you look at the one, it's just oh god. Your your limitless lux video, I, I've I've actually downloaded that on YouTube Red and I watch that probably once or twice a week. I just love it. It's one of the best videos. And your your small vape pen twenty two. Best video on YouTube ever. Have you seen how many views that thing's got now? I actually still get comments on that. And one of the comments of the day was just a timestamp. So I clicked on the timestamp and it's just me going, if this wicks up this juice, I'm going to jump out the fucking window. <laughs> 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 the, the best bit is, fuck off. I'm not having it. That's just so good. <laughs> That was back in the day when I used the GoPro, but I, I didn't seem to understand cameras and understand that if it was in a waterproof case, it's going to sound like it was recorded underwater. So I've got the camera sat there, and I'm like... But I think... Yeah, I must admit, I, I have trouble looking into the camera when I'm videoing still. But I think, I think when, I, when I look at reviewers, and I, I can say this because I'm only new... But I look at reviewers and I look at, okay, I look at Chris and I look at Vic and Grim and the bad word, Mr. Hayes, and you guys are very comfortable and you you are a reviewer. But I look at people like Mech, uh, Mike, Dave, um, Tony, you guys are more, and I'm not trying to be uh, disrespectful or anything, but you guys are a little, I see you guys are a little bit more relatable kind of because it's, or I guess it might just be me, but I can relate to you guys because it's just like talking to someone else. I look at Chris and I look at Vic and it's like, Oh, I'm in the presence of greatness. <laughs> 
Like I'm literally gonna when this live stream finishes, I'm going to ring every single person I know that vapes and go, <laughs> guess who was I, I was in a live stream with? And it's on my channel. Oh my god, you've got to check it out. Well, I actually thought you said you was gonna go and bash one out then. Well, maybe. <laughs> I mean, I could, I could probably send you a video. If we could get intimate together. I don't know. Hey, let's do it. I'm all keen. <laughs> intimate. <laughs> I can't believe that's now a thing. You know, that was completely mistake driven, and it's just it's now a thing. It was when when I first saw it, I was like, oh god, this is going to be bad. Yeah, this, this is not going to end well. It's now on t-shirts. Oh god, yeah. it's on the back of this one. <laughs> No, it's like pe people look at me and because I've got a big on, on my my work computer at work. I've got an an Empire Vape Co wallpaper and I've got a Vaping with Vic wallpaper. I've got a Jay Hayes wallpaper, and everyone comes in and they're like, "Oh, that's a nice wallpaper. What's that?" And it's like, "Well, you, it, it's really hard for me to say." Oh, well, they're they're vape reviewers on YouTube because they just look at you like you you're broken or something. <laughs> so. It, are you okay? It's like, look, just just let me have my thing. Do you want to see what some of the liquor companies have sent me? Uh, Riot Squad, when I reviewed them, they've got different wallpapers. I think four of them in the office. I've got different wallpapers. One of me's got a bottle of pink and aid, and I'm like that, and it's the wallpaper. <laughs> like, the, other one's got, the other one's got some sort of saxophone thing that I edited in. They just you've got that as the wallpaper, and then. Um, one of the guys who now works for he, he works for like a wholesaler now. He used to work for Double Drip, you know the juice company. Yeah, he's they've made gifts of me, and I called the strawberry and banana waffle baby sick, and I'm in his phone as Chris baby sick. <laughs> 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 My God, Dave uh, broken again. I just thought when you, when you said before, though, like a, a couple of people, like obviously when I jumped into the, the little live thing through the night, one of the subscribers on Instagram, uh, it keeps it keep, people keep saying it. They go, "No, you're a huge reviewer." I'm not. I'm really not at all. I'm well, just me. This is what I've said in Facebook Messenger a couple of times, and and I'm just going to put it out there. This is going to go live to the world, Chris. You you have literally kept me alive and off the smokes for the last year and i'm being very serious about this um for those and and this is is really hard i suffer from severe depression and there's been like I, i'm not suicidal okay just don't worry about that but there's been days where I, I think to myself how can i keep going what what is there in my life that i can continually get up and continually do there's three things in my life that keep me going. One is my wife, and she is my absolute rock. Is my dog, wherever he is, he's just ignoring me today, and sitting watching and laughing at Chris. Because if you don't laugh at life, you're gonna, you, you're gonna cry. And I've had a lot of tears in my life, but the, those Mondays where I can sit down and I can relax at work and I can watch someone that just makes me laugh is, it, it just keeps me going. and. For you, Chris, you to me and to a lot of other people, you are massive. You are just the person that everybody looks up to. Oh, and, thanks, and dude. Vic, dude, your high wattage tests are the highlight of my days. <laughs> <laughs> it, there's an idea for a tattoo. The the Vic's face after he goes through a really high wattage test. There you go. That's it. <laughs> that would sell t-shirts, to be fair. Oh, yeah, it would. Yeah, it probably would. It yeah, would. it would. Yep. Hashtag not that again. <laughs> you have to oh, I do that. Oh. I reckon if Vic made t-shirts and just put it to fucking Sunday across the back, they'd sell like crazy. <laughs> hashtag it's a Sunday. Hashtag floof. Yeah. Hashtag go fuck yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Could you imagine your face, Vic, if you tried that berserker at 1058 watts? No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that's why I've limited that's why I've limited those high wattage tests to 200 watts because I know what's coming out in summer. You don't want to do high wattage tests with those mods, <laughs> you really don't. <laughs> I know what's coming. Okay. <laughs> the five hundred watts, is it? The 500 water has been pushed forward. It was supposed to be released by November. Now the certain company is saying they're going to try and release it sometime during the month of May. 
Is is it Gary. is it this company? No, it's not. It's a company I haven't heard of. Okay, cool. Because I'm I'm waiting for the, I'm waiting for the mod from Steam Crave. That's going to be so sick. That I don't know what's happening with that Steam Crave mod. That was supposed to be released next month. There's no hope in hell that being released next month now. No. Oh. I don't know what's happening oh. with that Steam Crave mod. I will try and do 500 watts on any mod that comes out because I'm mad. You're that insane. Crazy. You're insane. That's what you are. Big <laughs> I'll, I'll be like that. And it, look at it. There it is. What the hell, Salford? <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Show us, show us, come on. Oh, it's all your Vic sells t shirts anyway. That is amazing. <laughs> that is, that is, that's, one of, that's one of the VUKN shirts, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's one of the VUKN oh, shirts they were doing for charity. Oh, that is such an oh. amazing shirt. <laughs> I've lost everybody. <laughs> shit computer, shit internet. He's gone better now. That is a great t-shirt. But no, Vic, um, just so people know, Vic, if you ever do a Patreon, I'm only giving to one person on Patreon because I don't believe in charity. I give to Chris, and if you start a Patreon, I promise you, you'll definitely get one from me. You, if you decide to do it, Mate, you've got a lot of support. It'd be well worth it, dude. Yeah, I'm still up in there about the whole Patreon thing, though. How you doing, Tony? And no, I wouldn't try 500 more. Thank you, Tony. Oh, hi, Tony. I, I think if, you, if you open chat. the Patreon, Vic, you'd be surprised at what happened. Yeah. Yeah, that's what a lot of people are saying. But I'm, I'm, I'm going to wait for now. I'm going to wait. I've got it in my head. Wait, I'm, I've got it in my head. Wait for the fifty thousand subscriber count. Well, it's yeah. not going to be long. That'll be the end of the year. I reckon if I can get twenty five, you can. <laughs> as soon as you open that, you're just going to go boom, don't. Yeah, that's what a lot of people are saying. Yeah. Can you imagine what have you got now? Thirty five thousand subscribers. Can you imagine if yeah. two and a half thousand of them gave you a dollar a month? Yeah, just a dollar. I know. And they won't do that. Yeah. They will. They'll do what they did with Posty. They'll start up on your pledges. Yep. Yeah. You'll put your basic ones on there because I've got one that does it on mine. Uh, he joined the five and changed it to ten. Because mm. I, 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 when I did Chris's, I started off at three dollars, and I'm like, it's three bucks. I spend I more, money, I spend more money on chocolate milk, and I really shouldn't. So <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll forego a chocolate milk once a week so I can do five. Chocolate milk, low chocolate milk. Chocolate milk. Oh, yeah, Zoo, I love that stuff. Love that yeah. stuff. I, I got a new one tonight, though. Me and Becca went to Asda, and they've got, you know, them fridge milkshakes or fridge or whatever the fuck you say. Yeah, they've got yeah. cookie dough. Oh. Yeah. Cookie dough? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Big enough as it is, Jesus. I opened the bottle and took one drink and was like, I need to go back and buy the crate of these. <laughs> 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 I didn't know they were doing cookie dough. I'll need to look out for that when I'm in Asda. Oh. Gorgeous. What, Mike? I said I've been doing the cookie dough for a while. Oh, oh, I don't even know. He, here's a question that I've been meaning to ask you guys. What is a steak bake? A steak bake is heaven wrapped <laughs> in heaven wrapped <laughs> inside pastry. That's what a steak bake is. It's basically what... chunk it's chunks of steak and a thick gravy sauce wrapped in puff pastry. It is fucking yep. heaven. Sayers should do literally the steak bake promotion with Vic's post office selfies as the yes. fucking picture photo. Yes. <laughs> it just says the tagline be like Vic by a steak bake. Yeah. <laughs> I fucking love steak bakes. Love them. You cannot beat a decent Greg steak bake. Yep. Um, he when I can finally get to the UK, I'm there, there's numerous things. I've got to go to an expo. I've got to, I've got to go to Empire Vape Co. And by the sounds of things, I've got to have a steak bake. Yeah, yeah. got to have a steak bake. You've not had a decent meal until you've had a great steak bake. No. The thing is, though, be careful because they lie to you. They give you them and they're lovely and warm pastry. And you're like, oh, isn't this a ni nice, lovely to eat pastry? And then Mount Vesuvius erupts from inside when you take a bite yeah. out of it. You taste the great. Yeah, the in, the insides like molten lava half the time. Oh, yes. 
Mm. Unless you go up yeah. at two o'clock and then it's freezing inside. Yeah, yeah, there's that as well. <laughs> and it's just a steak disappointment. You bite into it, it's just like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. So they're nice with a bit of chili sauce on them as well. What is it with you and curry and chili sauce? Literally, Mike puts curry sauce on everything. You can be like, just got a chocolate bar. I've got some curry sauce for that. There you go. Put some... This it's is just... why. This is this is why Mark. This is why Mike is always releasing gas because of the fucking furnace going on down yeah. there. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I've already said in the past. Mike needs to bring out a feature, and he goes, "I'd give this." <laughs> 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 I was watching I was watching the Sads and Mike farted on Sads one day and it actually shook the roof of my car. <laughs> you see nothing. I was like, fuck, what was that? I had to you watch have, it again to make sure I knew what it was. You have seen nothing until you see Mike fart at an expo and make Jay throw up in front of him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, I can't admit that was funny. That was the best thing I have ever seen in my life. He sort of hit him, and Jay just went, "Oh!" oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm staying away from Mike if I get tanked up in Guinness. It was like the world's most dramatic juice review as it happened. Just sort of inhaled it and went. Oh. What is, what is a jelly eel cloud ripper of you? I don't even want to know. Jellied oh. eels are normally whole eels, not the big, long, big, but usually smaller eels that have been slightly, well, not slightly, that have been boiled and mm -hmm. they've been boiled whole. And when you boil an eel, especially oily eels, they usually exude gelatin mm -hmm. and shit, and then they're simply canned. And I'll tell what? you something about jellied eels, perfect hangover cure. What oh, yes. the fuck are you people eating? He's I fucking... eat haggis. I eat haggis. I eat fucking anything. Oh my god! I literally oh. eat anything. Mm. I was in. I was in the Philippines. I was in the Philippines with Mother <laughs> Dearest, right? I was in the Philippines with Mother Dearest. My mum's <laughs> Filipino, as you all know, and my <laughs> mother helped me something. Mother helped me something called a balut. B a l u t. It is a chicken egg. But inside the egg is not the yolk and the white. It's actually a not born yet chick. It's been boiled. It's been, he's going to throw up. Someone quickly change his YouTube channel to Nemad is spewing. That would be oh. Cool. <laughs> oh god. The now, thing about um, the thing about vegetarian people, not, not just Scottish people, the thing about most UK people is yeah. we eat anything. Yeah. We do, we eat anything. Yeah. Mm. Deep fried Mars bars, yes. Oh, yeah, that'd be nice. Oh. Anything deep fried is good. Deep fried pizza, deep fried hamburger, deep fried everything. That's why fucking Scotland's got a very low, but a very high mortality rate with heart attacks. Yeah. Oh, deep fried Mars bar, that'd be so good right now. I'm trying to think of things that you won't have tried over there that you probably try over here. What is spotted dick? Because I've, oh. oh. I've heard it. I've heard it, and I've always been interested. It's two antibiotics twice a day for two weeks. It goes away. <laughs> <laughs> the English classics. Toad in a hole and spotted dick. Yep. Okay, explain. Mike, you Top. explain it because you probably ate more of it than I have. <laughs> probably, yeah. Um, this belly is bought and paid for, yeah. <laughs> uh, toad in a hole is basically sausages in uh, pastry. Or batter. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's usually you get a decent sized bit of toad and yellow. You get four sausages in a tray like that that's coated in batter mix, basically. Four? Yeah. Shit. And okay. Then usually four of the big Cumberland type sausages. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. That's when you know you get a decent one. Uh, Spotty Dick 
is basically a cake with raisins in it. Essentially, you, it's a kind of pudding kind of thing. Yeah, it's nice. a pud, pud, basically it's like a little dome type cake that they load up with raisins and then you dip loads of custard over the top of it and munch on it. Mm, cream would be nice. Must Talking about cream. pud, Yorkshire pudding, can't beat that on a Sunday. I don't know what yeah. that is. I'm getting, I'm getting fucking hungry now. Fuck. <laughs> Damn it. You going for a balut? <laughs> no, don't say that. You'll end up making him throw up again. <laughs> no, I'm tired. He's clucking it's to like, try one. It's it's like like I went I'm just trying to think of something quintessentially Australian that you guys may not have had. You guys have oh. all tried Vegemite, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> oh, what am I... <laughs> Come on, it's not that bad. It's one, one, of my worse than more, Mike. one of my all-time favourite YouTubers is Australian, Marcus Dibble. Marcus Do you know who he Dibble? is? No? Yeah, he's, he's Australian. But he does this big thing about Vegemite because this other girl was trying to say that it was racist or something and he just destroyed oh, her online. Yeah. All right, that chick, she is just fucking mentally retarded. Cassidy Marcus Boone. Dibble. Yeah, she's just oh, crazy. Whoa. Whoa. He is I've seen this dude before, yeah. Uh, no, I've had kangaroo steak. I've had gator steak and crocodile yeah. steak. Kangaroo Ooh. steak is okay, but it's surprisingly it's hard to find where I am. It's not here. We just it, go down to uh, Iceland. <laughs> fucking um, they sell it. They sell everything in fucking Iceland, though. Yeah. <clears throat> it's turned into like the frozen version of Pam Man, though, hasn't it? You go in and everything's yeah. just frozen for the pounds. It's just yeah. like. <laughs> I'll tell you something I was surprised at the other day. I actually I went into the local co op to where I work and I found them selling vape gear. What? Yeah, they, sell the, they sell vapes. <laughs> vapes. <laughs> they they were, they were in the, on the same shelf as the bloody Durex and all that shit behind the counter. Oh, for fuck's sake. Mm. They had the um, vibe shit. Can you just imagine that would be so cool, wouldn't it? Can I have that vibe starter kit? Was like the ribbed one or the dotted one? Which one would you like? You have to be careful that it was e liquid and not lube. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I suppose that'd still work. I've vaped it, it doesn't do nothing. Oh, God. Oh, oh. Right, right, well, I'll tell you the story because you were going like, "What the fuck?" Um, we've got one of the lads who comes into the shop, and his mate works for Ann Summers, which is like a sex toy shop in the UK. And they think it was thought it was funny for my birthday to buy me this fucking sex toy called a wanky, and it came with a bottle of unflavored lube. Now Emily, who comes in, she's a biochemist, so I basically went to her, "Can you vape this?" And she went, "Yeah, it's VG." I was like, "Sound." Put it on a velocity and vape it straight away. And you got like a tiny bit of cloud out of it. <laughs> oh, Essentially, it is VG. That's true. It is. Yeah. Yeah. But still, yeah, she's a biochemist. Oh. I was like, "Emily, is this safe?" She went, "Yeah, it's fine." <laughs> Oh, and Vic, you've saved me a lot of money because of your video. I started DIY e juices. Oh, you've got a DIY. You save a lot of money if you DIY. This one is called CPU. Absolutely fantastic. Mount of juice. I plow. I plow through every day. I had to start DIY, and it was costing too fucking much buying the juice. In. I am starting. I, to... yeah, I am starting to go through about eighty to ninety mil a day now. Yeah, wow. you're getting up to my level now. Yep. Yeah. I thought I was bad doing 50. Jesus. That's that's I've two days a... worth of vaping. How much? Two days. Jeez. What's gone out of that bottle? I opened that manga bee as a half three this afternoon. Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, but oh, I, fell, I filled these these I filled bowl. This is this is the custard. And that's the watermelon, and I felt these up just before I went to bed last night. I've went through about a hundred mil. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, about a hundred mil a day. There's people worse than me. Aries JJ, he's almost he's almost getting to the stage he's going through two hundred mil a day. You couldn't, you couldn't buy through that. liquid. You couldn't you couldn't spend that amount of money on juice. You'd no, have you to can't. DIY what DIY yeah. that. Wow. 
you think about it though, I've got a suburban tank on the go at the minute. I've got countless RTAs that I'm testing, the pods full, that drip has dripped up on the pulse at the minute. Yep. There's another tank because I'm constantly testing things, they're all all filled. <laughs> Well, it's the same here. I've got the pumper 18 filled up. I've got the pu- insert your jokes here, folks. I've got, the pumper 18 filled up. I've got the pumper 22 filled up. I've got my mech mod on the go. I've got the OBS Creus 2 Jewel on the go. I've got two other tanks over there on the go, and I've got two drippers up there going through testing right now. That's why I'm going through so much juice. After that show on the, well, last night, the Thursday show, I got an email and it was a lad from a lad and about seven of his mates copied into it and it just recalled Pumper and the email says, oh, I'll find it. It's sad. <laughs> uh, I've got my inbox open now. There it is. Yeah, Pumper. It's him and about seven of his mates and he said, Hi, Chris. We noticed the Vic has now got both pumpers in for review. If his motors for some reason don't send you one, we are all, all going to chip in to buy you one because we have to see this review for yeah. the jokes alone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that review alone is going to give me jump cuts for days. <laughs> uh, thing, Chris does load it up with just jam. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna every time yeah, I press the pump, I've already got a little bit of a, a line lined up. Every time I like pump the thing or press the button down, I'm gonna play one of the songs like pump up the jam or pump up the volume or something like that. <laughs> Just to top it off, what you'll need to get your hands on, Chris, is the Wanko RDA to put on top of the pumper. Oh, yeah, yes. easily. Yeah. That would just go down real well. Someone I showed me a little that like, work. Have you seen that little clip of the fella? It's got Pump Up the Jam playing in the background, and he's literally got a jar of jam with a pump attached to it, and he's just like, that That made me yep. laugh so much for about three hours of the day. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, Jamie's one of our customers and a subscriber as well. He makes his own red stain. It's pretty damn good as well. Oh, I haven't, it. Nice vape, I, haven't, I haven't vape red a stair for a long time. He makes an old time. school version. It's like one of the very... It's like the tea juice one with a little bit of extra yeah. in it. Red stair. I was hooked in that for months. Couldn't get enough of it. Is that like an anisade type flavour? Yeah. Yeah, sort of kind of aniseedy, cough, medicine-y type flavoury thing going on. Yeah. Speaking of juice, I I had this all-day vape that I used to really enjoy. This one here, Matt, uh, it's called uh, Lonely Dragon by the Manic Vape. And I was buying it in litres. I'd buy two or three litres at a time, and he stopped making it. That's when I started watching your video, Vic, and, and started DIYing. And I thought, for my birthday, I'll... I'll pull out the last of it that I had, and sadly, it doesn't taste that good anymore. Yeah, it's really sad because I I would I, I could easily go through sixty mil a day on this easy. I tried my hand at DIY and failed, and thought, "Fuck it, it's all going in a bin." <laughs> you can imagine when I was like when I was trying to make that fucking custard the first time round. It's one of the hardest I, things to nail, though, custard. I've been so many versions, but, like, I could have come in sometimes. I'd look like some sort of on-drugs version of Dexter's lab. She'd come in and just like, that would concentrate. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've done, I put the, fl- the con- flavour concentrate in, then I put the nicotine in, then I put the PG in, and then lastly I was putting the VG in, and as I was putting the VG in, the nozzle off the syringe came off and got stuck in the bottle yeah. Ooh. so i got a major strop on and launched it all out the window <laughs> <laughs> yeah when I, when i'm all cashed up again i'm gonna i'm gonna see if i can get the whole evc line and the whole blow elixir line that would be awesome blow i really want to try that that purple blow i mean that'd be so good i'll speak to jack for you is that any news on your fruit line yet? Uh, yeah, all the five flavors are confirmed. I'm just going through the stages of testing different versions of them. Um, one of them is going to be a strawberry chupa chup lollipop. Oh, oh, I love oh. and one of the ones I've mastered after that is do you remember the old sherbet lollipops? Yep, but the pink one. The best one, the pink and white one. Yeah, no one's cloning that ever. Damn. Conway Valley Vapors. Conway, are you a shop 
or do you just yes, make yes. it? Yes, yes. It's a shop. It's a shop. Uh, Vapor.me.uk, I think. Yes. Vapor me yep. in the UK. Good shop. One flavour I'd like people to come out with is like the old Dib Dab flavour. Oh, Dib Dabs! Are they like double dips? Oh, that just sounds wrong. <laughs> we've, we, we've got these um we've got these lollies here. Proper intimate. Yeah. <laughs> we've got these lollies here in Australia. It's it's a bag. Actually I think I've got some. It's a bag, it's got two different types of sherbet and this compressed sherbet lolly stick. And you basically just have a hit on your stick and then dump it in each each side. It's so good. Sounds about like a sherbet dip over here. Mm. Yeah. It, it just sounds wrong. The old swizzle sherbet dips used to get over us, but it sounds like so good though. Oh, <laughs> did dabs oh, used to have licorice in them originally, didn't they? Yep. Oh, yeah. oh there it is, it was, it was, How you doing, buddy? It was a stick of licorice you'd use to dip it into the sherbet with. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Hey, cantankerous, if you come down, dude, I've got a whole bunch of twelve monkeys. I've got one left to come. But I've got, I've got, yeah, I've got everything except Tropica, which Chris is going to send over to me. But come down, we'll try them. To me, that Tropica is the best one. Well, I emailed them because I need stock anyway for the show. But because uh, Michael's left now, who got me the sponsorship in the first place. But it's it's all still going. Like I emailed them because he basically said they were cancelling everything out, working with everyone. I was like, what? Got in oh. touch with them. Yeah, they were fine. They said no, they, they'd never get rid of us, so it was it was really cool. But I messaged one of the guys and said, I've got no tropical left. I don't I didn't want to be sort of, you know, I need more, send me it sort of thing. I just went to say, if it's still active, one or two bottles will do. I'll I'll buy some. And he was like, Don't be stupid, we'll send you an order. And then he sent me the packing form and it's fifty bottles of Tropica coming. <gasps> the send they're sending me a batch. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Wow. I could vape a 60 ml bottle of Tropica in about an hour if I wanted to. <laughs> Drink the that stuff. It's unbelievable. That stuff is literally liquid crack. Did I tell you? Well, I don't know if you know how I got that actual sponsorship from them. Yeah, how did that happen? I was at Vape Jam uh, last year, the first one. And they were there at a big, big stand and stuff. And obviously, they'd spoke to me in the past and like I said, bought juice off them and things. And it was still in the 30 ml bottles and you could get it with nicotine in. So, goes walking around the stand, walks in, Michael Lee's there, and uh, he goes, you, come here. But he said it really serious, and I'm like, ah, fuck, what have I done? So, <laughs> goes in, and he goes, read that. He had the email ready. It was just some fella, like a wholesaler, distributor or something. Um, it just said, dear whoever it was, I'm looking to place an order for 25,000 bottles of crack monkeys, but can't seem to find the flavour on your website. Can you please tell me what it is? <laughs> and he went... The reply to it was just the link to my video, and he said, "Is it this guy?" And he went, "Yeah, he went, it's Tropica. No wonder you couldn't find that he calls it Crack Monkeys." So he placed an order for twenty five thousand units of Tropica, and then reordered it. So Jesus. he gave me. Yeah. Jesus. But he actually was trying to find Crack Monkeys on their website and couldn't find it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's similar with you, the uh, SMKD lot, wasn't it? With what? What one? one, one. That, that, um, them people keep on emailing them trying to get the uh, pie crust. <laughs> oh, damn it. pie crust! Yeah. Do you know that stuff sells the best now, and they think it's because of me? Yeah, <laughs> just by taking the piss. <laughs> it's nice. I, I had to watch that three or four times because I didn't know what you were going on about. I'm like, what the fuck is he going on about? Well, that and became then, a thing as well. Pie yeah. crust. Pie crust. It's. I, I think it's how you say it. Uh, I, it, it's just how you say it just cracks me up every time. Do you know, well, with, with my reviews, one thing someone was saying before, like, and I get this all the time, is how do you do your reviews? The way I do mine, now I know obviously Vic films different parts of his and puts them together and stuff. Mine, yeah. I sit in front of the computer, press record and do it in one take. I used to do that. Used to do that. Trouble because is, I'm, I'm, I'm the type of person, though, that if I make a mistake... If I make a mistake, fuck it, right back to the beginning and do the whole thing again. And I, 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 I'm not the kind of person to do a lot of mistakes, but when you're doing something like a 30-minute long 
30 minute long hardware review and you fuck up the last five minutes and have to do the whole 30 minutes again it was fucking driving me insane so i started cutting it up into sections and then just shoved the whole lot together in adobe and it worked yeah the only thing i i do now it's still all in one take is literally to film an intro, stop it, but then we'll keep continuously recording. So as soon as I stop, I press record again so that I can yeah. drop the sections into my editing software so that it's easier to handle instead of just having yeah. one big file. But recently, I'm, I'm probably going to have to stop that soon because I'm doing a lot of top-down stuff and I've got the cameras and people want to see yeah. improvements. So It was like my first two reviews. I didn't do a table cam because I, I honestly did not know what the fuck I was doing. And... Um, I, my local vape shop, um, he said he watched my first couple before I released them, and he said, look, you know, it's great, but your camera's not good. So I was looking around thinking, how can I do this without spending money? And a, a good friend of mine, he sent me a video, and I was like, man, that's really good footage. How did you get that? And he goes, oh, it was my iPhone. So all of my stuff is done on my iPhone now. They're just so good now. That, I mean, I've got the, you've got the X, haven't you? I've got the A plus, and I can't believe some of the stuff I can do with that as well. The lens on the thing is really good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, where's the box for my phone now? That's fucking right over there. Typical. See, I'm I'm looking to sort of improve my vlogging setup now. I'm looking at going down the route of having them being one of them pain in the ass guys with the big huge DSLR on this little tripod thing. <laughs> 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 I want the I want the quality now, so. Just do a Casey nice that you'll be fine. Get a booster board, you set. Because <laughs> I've, yeah, I mean, yeah. I've seen I've seen Sophie, you know, with her hair vlogging setup is bigger than her head. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like this fucking huge camera next to her. I, I don't know if it's just me, but I can't listen to Sophie Vapes, but I can watch the fuck out of her videos. Yeah. It's her, well, it's her voice. To to me, it sounds like she's almost in pain. Yeah. Something to do with the, the, it's the tone of the voice that when she's talking, she's a nice, I've, I've never met her, but from all the people I've met, she's a really nice, fun person to go on with, but something about the tone of her voice, it makes her sound as if she's in pain. Yeah. Well, go, back to her old, go back to her old videos. I didn't realise she was speaking. <laughs> <laughs> I would just press play. I found it one day and went, you said it was good without moving your lips. I'll buy it. <laughs> <laughs> But it's it it's it's amazing. I can't listen to her because I, I don't mean to sound disrespectful, but she does have a kind of deeper voice. But I can watch her all day. Yeah, Just, it's like oh. it's like this. Today we are taking a look at something from Smoke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's a good reviewer, though. She is good. Yeah, I love her second uh, channel as well because it's just a piss take. She has a second sure. channel. Oh my god! Yeah. She does. Yeah, she does. Sophie vlogs or something like that. I think. Just Sophie. Just Sophie. That's it. Not a stalker at all. <laughs> 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 no, she did it. Uh, you know when people were doing that whole craze a while ago, where they were like mailing themselves to different countries, but they weren't actually doing it. You mm -hmm. could tell. She did a piss take in the living room where she put a huge box around the entire room and said, I'll be fine for food. I've got my fridge with me. It's just like the face is <laughs> Oh, she's got a few on there too. Oh, yeah. my God. I'm going to be set all day. Yep. <laughs> That's it. He's now got his wank folder. Yep, I'm done. <laughs> I need to be alone right now. <laughs> <laughs> how to pick your way out of handcuffs yes i watched that one and was Ooh. like okay she's either been in trouble with the police a lot or she's just into some crazy shit <laughs> i'm going with the second one yeah yeah i'm i'm set for the day <laughs> damn look at that Yeah, no, that's gonna be. Woo, I'm set. No, I, I found um, I found Pandora Blue on Instagram. I'm not I, a fan of her. I'm I'm not big on tattoos, and I'm not big on blatantly using your body to promote a product. But scrolling through Instagram, she's not too bad. Just peachy. That's who you want to follow on Instagram. She's got the facial piercings though, doesn't she? Yep. 
Yeah. Still nice to look at, though. I wouldn't say no. You play games, don't you? I've, I've spent most of my time on, on um, videos now, but, yeah, I, t I try to. Google Jessica Negri. Dude, 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 dude. Please. I already have an erection looking at Jazz Rosie. <laughs> I don't need to throw her into the mix. Have you seen <laughs> Borat, the film? Yes. If I ever see Jessica Negri, I'm going to Borat-style steal her. Oh, fuck. <laughs> easy. Easy. Just easy. There, there was a, a – I think it was a, f a set of fail video. Oh, who was it? Um, there was one dude that did these um, – videos on youtube it was he'd take a meme and he would cut it up into like a music video and at the end of the video it was jessica negri in a Game Boy tight dress and she was jumping uh, up and down yeah that sorted me out for days i was set people <laughs> often say to me like what's the best money i've ever spent five pound on one month of her patreon oh <laughs> <laughs> yeah Anyway, gents, it's half one. I need to get the reviews ready for tomorrow because I do. I do all the I do all the table cam stuff on a Saturday night. So I need to figure out what the hell I'm reviewing first and get all the cameras and shit set up. Vic, sure, thank you sure. very much for jumping in. I've had my fanboy moment. I'm all set now. <laughs> <laughs> Sometime in the future, we're going to try and drag you into the UK vape show as well. Give, because you technically are a new reviewer, so. Give, give me a couple if, – if you do want to plan it out, give me a couple of weeks' notice and I'll organise yeah. a day off so I can just kick back, relax. I'll actually drink at 6.30 in the morning. Oh, Jesus. Not a problem. Not a problem. <laughs> wow. I'll, I'll fix myself up some, um, some Jack Daniels and Coke at about half five in the morning so I can get myself sorted out and then it'll be – I'll just drink for the entire two hours. It'll be, it'll be fantastic. And you'll be utterly sloshed at the end of it, probably. Oh, me drunk is amazing. I get to a point where I get to a point where I can't feel my face, so I start slapping myself. It's fantastic. <laughs> or or I anyway, have teddy bears. I'll see all you folks later on. Thanks, Bye, Vic. Vic. Bye. See you, Vic. See you dude. Bye. Yeah, yeah, I'm meant to be. I'm meant to be. Bears, isn't it? Well, I'm meant to be at the shop in the morning. I've had an eighth Kraken and Coke now. <laughs> oh, damn. If you do come over, Chris, if you ever get to Australia, Chris, like I said, there's a bed here for you, dude. My wife is a fantastic cook, and I've got plenty of alcohol, so it would be safe. <laughs> yeah, I can drink. I oh, sorry. I, if we run out, my my father-in-law does homebrew, so oh, we'll, okay, we'll, we'll be sorted. We'll be sorted. But yeah, I think yeah. I might have to go and watch some of Just Sophie's videos. Yeah, it's worth it. She's just <laughs> oh, she's got squats. Excellent. A whole t yeah. almost ten minutes of the squat video. I'm set. It's Here literally the most clickbaity thing you'll ever watch. Oh, thanks for that. This is <laughs> this is gonna do one of two things. I'm gonna be very satisfied, or I'm gonna get in trouble. Probably both. Yeah. Hey, hi, Michelle. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Michelle. I can't see the chat. Uh, oh, you close your chat down, yeah? Yeah, Chris, I can't see anything on this bloody machine. It's that new gaming machine I've got. Is it just not running anything now? Did, did you reinstall it? Yeah, he'd, uh, he'd put it back to uh, standard settings and start Windows all over again. I would... um. I'd use the Windows 10 media creation tool, make yourself up a USB and just do a complete wipe of the hard drive. Yeah. This one got, uh, what they said. <laughs> Me and computer. No, I, just, I've got a custom built one I built myself. Mine's an evil beast. I'll show you mine, Chris. Hold on. Oh yes, that's mine. Oh, oh that's sexy. That's that's the baby, and then later on, I'm building that one. Oh, that's I can fit a small child in that case. <laughs> so 
See, I've just put, I've just upgraded my RAM again. Now I've got uh, 32 gig. My, so my next, my next machine, because I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy my Mac for for editing on the go and everything like that. My next machine is a um, an X299 18 core, uh, 128 gig of RAM and four terabytes of hard drive space. Oh. I'm thinking of going a 1080 Ti or possibly even a Titan. And in that case, it's all custom water cooled. See, I've got a 1080, and man, you don't need any more than that. I can't max this out yet. I've tried. Oh, uh, I could, I could. I, I would, I would do a stream. I would do crypto mining, and I'd try and edit a video all at the same time. Oh well, then yeah, fair enough. But I'm for <laughs> one, like, if I, I can make a better video render, and I can play a game at full ultra, then it doesn't even touch you. Well, this, this one's only basic crypto mining. Bitcoins. Uh, Bitcoins. <laughs> Actually, speaking of, of Bitcoins, I don't know if you guys heard it, but there was two guys down in uh, New South Wales that got fired for using the Bureau of Meteorology supercomputer to mine for Bitcoin. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I was like, now that is arsy. I, I, they got a few out of it too. I think they got six or seven in yep. the short space of about two months. I was like, well, hey, look, you know. And with the, what no, they're worth at the minute as well. Yeah, it was hilarious though. I was looking at it, it's like you arsy motherfuckers. Oh, I mean, for me, we've got a we've got a couple of really big servers at work, and the boys are like, "Yeah, we'll just start mining Bitcoin." So when we finish up of a night, we just crank the servers over, and away you go. That's how I paid for the new machine in my workshop. Is yeah, made a couple of bitcoins and went out and. Built a couple of new machines. We're paying for our new, our, our whole new server rack from Bitcoin. Nice. So, but I've, I think I've, I've got to get out of IT. I hate it now. I think I've got about 0.7 left or something. They're in a wallet somewhere. It'll take about six years to sync it back up with the blockchain again. Yeah. But yes, yeah, Bitcoin had a big reviews. How you doing? Sorry, I'm not even watching chat. I'm looking at Zofi, Zofi Vapes and, um, yeah, sorry. I, I haven't even pulled out Instagram yet. And I only discovered Tumblr the other day. Wow, isn't that an eye-opener? Tumblr? Eh. I suppose I piss around with it occasionally, but... I didn't even know what was on it. It was like Snapchat. I didn't even know what that was. That's scary. Oh. Oh, that's what, that's Snapchat? Snapchat? I, what's my Snapchat? I don't even know. Oh, no, I thought that was what you said. You were using Snapchat because I've got an Empire Snapchat that I haven't updated for a while, but it was just for basically off YouTube random shit. I, I don't even know what it is. I've Okay, so I've got Empire Vapeco here. Um, I just, I don't understand it. I mean, it's just, yeah, I don't understand Snapchat. I've tried what's to that? figure it out. I'm too old. What's that new social media thing that Heaven's Gifts has brought out? Oh, that is it this? Yeah, this thing, Vero. No, no, no. It's um, Vero is just another social media thing. But the one that Heaven's Gifts did was Vaffel. V A F F E. I I you, I grabbed it and I'm just like, yeah, whatever. I I've got too much stuff to worry about anyway. I'm still trying to figure out Twitter. Twitter's... I've got a raffle. Okay. I mean, I can I've... see you having a fake Twitter account soon because Posty's got one. I reckon they're going to set me one up as well. Well, Vic's got one too. I saw it the other day. Yeah. Didn't even realise I was. On. I had raffle. Okay. When did that happen? Hey, Michelle, send me a Facebook message and I'll throw you in. <laughs> uh, no, Twitter, I, I even went out and bought a really expensive Twitter app so I could get into it a bit more. You haven't really got to buy apps for the things anymore. You can just basically download them and crack them. Well, the, I wanted or you to could get... just go Android and get them for free anyway. No, for PC. 
But yeah, with Android. But yeah, but my my eight plus is jailbreak already. Yeah, I wanted to jailbreak, but I just don't do enough with it. The only thing is though, man, because of the new software, mine's a tethered jailbreak, so I can't let this die. Or I've got to do it again. I remember. So I get to one percent. And... A while back, there was a, a thing that you could go to a website on your phone, and it would jailbreak it for you. But yeah, I can't remember. I used to do that all back in the day when it was fun to do, but yeah. Now all it does now, like, really, is it just it basically you can't even tell when you unlock it. It still looks like an iPhone. Everything on it's the same, but yeah. it just means that your app store is basically free. That's what they've done now. You can have like a sort of low level jail jailbreak so that your app store is still Apple, but everything's free no matter what. That'd be all right. But yeah, it's yeah, it doesn't. It's done nothing to the uh, performance because it's such a new version of the Apple software. You can't let the phone die, otherwise you've got to jailbreak it again. Well, I, I went I went Apple stupid a few years ago and bought everything Apple, and that was when I was jailbreaking and having fun. Now it's I use Apple because I come home and it works. Yeah, I can I can open up my lap my MacBook Air and I can print or I can. You know, my ear pods work everywhere, but this Windows machine that I've got, it just oh, just shits me to tears. Yeah, Mac is good for the business side of things where, like, if I get an invoice, I can just go swipe and it'll just go to my MacBook or it'll go to the server and you just print. It's it's good for that kind of thing. Um, but Windows for everything else. Show me. Show me what you want. Come on. That just looks so wrong. <laughs> Dave's looking down at his computer screen going, show me what you want. Okay, I've seen everything now. I'm talking to this bugger here. <laughs> He's giving me the Dave thought he'd uh, Dave thought he jumped out of the hangout onto Babe Station, but he was still in. <laughs> <laughs> you could kill Dave again. <laughs> uh, oh, it's trouble. Cool. Do it, Chris, because it doesn't look at me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> there comes trouble, definitely. Here's the vape and vixen. Hello, Michelle. Here's trouble. Something, <laughs> Michelle. Oh, she's got no audio. Audio is out. Oh, God, no, it's might be working. She, I laid a little bit then. Hello. Hello. Nope. Oh. oh, there we go. Oh, fuck me, the TARDIS has landed. <laughs> All we need now is a really shit sound guy to come up, don't we, and go, a oh, one, two, a oh, one, a oh, one, two. We should have had that sound effect when Vic was in because Linda just brought out the sonic screwdriver. Yeah, yeah. So when you go to you, you go to the gigs, Mike, don't you? Mm. I went when I went to that uh, arch enemy one. The god, the yep. sound guy loved the sound of his own voice before they came when he came out and he's going a one, two, a one, a three, one. It's just like, fuck you. Yeah, there's always I think by the time sound. she was. I was going to say, by the time she was finished with that, Mike, it probably needed to go in the bin. Yeah. Guys, I'll be back yeah. in five. Yeah. Oh, mate. Uh, I think the last gig I actually went to now was probably Slipknot at Brixton. i seen them in Liverpool. They were amazing. Yeah. The arena. Yeah. I went and saw Tiesto live in 2010. That was the last concert I went to. Oh, I love who's, gigs. Who's Tiesto? DJ. DJ. All right. It was okay. before he before he went shit. Now he's a little bit like David Guetta. He just presses play. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's too poppy and, and shit nowadays. Actually, I found a really, really interesting guy on YouTube, Frog Leap Studios. He's, I think he's from Norway, and he does a lot of heavy metal covers. Oh, okay. Holy shit, is he funny? Oh, Chris, you're into heavy metal. Check out um, 
There's a, a band called Bad Wolves. They did a yeah. cover of Zombie. Holy shit, is it good? I'll get them a listen. What are they called? Bad Wolves. Bad Wolves. If I like a couple of well, Australia. They've got a couple of decent bands. Like one of my favorite ones, Parkway Drive. They're from Australia. Uh, I think the the best Australian band I've come across would have to be. Fuck, I don't even know now. I haven't listened to Australian music for a long time. Um, have you ever heard of a UK Silver band? Chair. Silver Chair. Silver Chair, definitely. Old school. Have you ever heard of Akakoke, Chris? No. It sounds like you've been trying to be sick in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> they were a London-based uh, satanic death metal band. Oh, shit, okay. Uh, they were heavy as fuck. Oh, they are good. Them bad, that bad wolves, they are good. They are Where really are they from? Good. I think they're a US band, but their their film clip for uh, Zombie is just wow. Wow. They are it's so good. Woman. They look cool as well, actually. Mm. That's it. Because I checked them out on, um, I checked them out on Apple Music, and I they've they've got three singles, out and every single one of their songs is really good. Oh, that solo! Oh. <laughs> yeah, no, how sweet! I wish I could play like that. I wish I could play. Yeah, see, I've been dabbling with acoustic more lately, but no, I look, you can't beat electric. I'm looking at getting a seven string, so. Well, I've Could got an electric hold. sitting over there. Can't use the damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> Has Michelle got herself figured out yet? I don't know what she's doing. She looks like someone's trapped her in a box. Yeah. She's desperately trying to figure out. It's like, what the fuck's going on here? What have I done? <laughs> Oh, review of problems right here. It happens to me all yep. the time. I did a whole review on my TAC 21 the other day. It was like, yep, yeah, cool. I set it all up, had it all recorded, went and checked it. I didn't press record. Oh, I've done even worse than that. I set it to photo mode. So there's a photo of me just like, <laughs> and then that's it. <laughs> the whole video. I've got to get off this bloody aroma miser though. I, it's the only tank that I use at the moment. Here's my other one. Um, hold on a second. I know this is probably a swear word, but 502, that is a fucking amazing RDA. Posty still using it? Yeah, that was that was a bit I don't I didn't know how to really go about that. That was to be fair, it's your, it's your call, it's your channel. He's not going to say anything to you. No, well, it's like I said, I don't, I'm not, I'm not Posty's biggest fan, but I love him on the UK Vape Show. He's, he's great. Um, yeah, it's, it's hard because I, I still watch, I, I watch Jay Hayes religiously. It's, I like his review style, how he, how he does it. I don't like how he rips everything apart and f has to find something wrong with it. Um, but yeah, I liked the um, the video you put out last night about Tony B though because it's it's mm. no like he's not a stranger to the fact that he does not like Vandy Vape, but he basically came out and said last night that I'm with them all the way and Tony B's got my support and someone the size of Jay Hayes has got a lot of thing behind them. So yeah, he does. <coughs> it, it's it's good to see like. For this to work, though, everybody has got to stop. Everybody yep. has got to stop. As Vic said, it can't be something that's a fly-by-night thing and everybody forgets about it in two weeks. Vupu has to know, has to know that what they've done is wrong. Well, Mike, did you see um, – I've had a couple of comments about it on, on the video that I put out. iOS uh, mod maker Rick Guy is basically saying that everyone should stop buying from Vanny Vape now because he cloned this fucking cleaning stick thing. What cleaning stick thing? He made, he made this like cleaning stick thing or something and someone cloned it and then Vanny Vape apparently cloned it or something. And now he's oh. saying that, yeah, 
now, now he's saying that people have been commenting saying that he's saying that people shouldn't buy from them and they shouldn't buy from these now because they clone this first and all the rest of it. He's just uh, they were all sat on the fence going, we we still should still buy from Vupu and all that. So you know he's still going to keep reviewing for them. Well, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I'm not being funny. you're going to get companies cloning no matter what. Yeah. Cl cloning things is one thing. But outright ripping someone off by saying mm -hmm. they're going to supply 40,000 chips, bumping the price up twice by 30% in total, and then saying, fuck you, we're just going to rep uh, bring the mod out ourselves. Yeah. That's not cloning. No. That's fucking someone over. Well, it, see, the, the drag was going to be one of the mods that I picked up this month. And I, after seeing it and seeing what they've done, I was like, no, I, I, I can survive without one. I mean, don't get me wrong. The drag is a good mod. I've got one sitting on the shelf over there. It is a good uh, mod, yeah. It's a solid little thing. It is. It is. I mean, it's 0 0.25 second ramp up time with it. Well, you mean, come on. Fucking Bogan took a hammer to the thing and it didn't lose its shape. It just broke its panels off. Mm. Yeah. It's a solid little thing. But yeah. like people have been saying and everyone's been coming out and saying and stuff, obviously a lot of people are going to jump on the comment bandwagon when videos like that come out. But yeah. Tony had no reason to release that video to cause yeah. shit. He's not like that. No, that's right. Tony, and, that's, that's not Tony B at all. He's not in no. to call shit. And then when it comes to people saying about, oh, there was no, like, Vupu released a thing saying there was no contract, that's a pile of shit. You don't get a price off someone for 40,000 units or something without having it written in a contract. Exactly. Yeah. It's ridiculous. It's not like you're going in, like I said in my video, and asking for 10 or 20. 40,000 is a specific, like wholesale price because of the quantity you're ordering in it. So that one's yep. already signed off before it's even done. Yep. Thing is though all Tony's gotta to do now, but I don't I honestly don't think he'll come out with an aggressive video like that because of the kind of guy he is. Because you see how pissed off he was and that was him pissed off. Like mm -hmm. really calm. I think he probably needs to come out and go, Well, you're saying that's a lie. There's a screenshot of that email. Oh look, there's the contract because then they're fucked. Yeah. I, I think that's what has to happen. If Vandy Vape come out and say, and say, well, look, here is the contract, and obviously redact enough, so, you know, but if they come out and say, here is a contract signed by this person at Vupu for this price, then Vupu will end. They yeah. See, I mean, to. Grimm's put on Twitter that he's sort of sit on the fence until he sees Tony B's reply to what they've now replied, and then he'll, because he's been saying... Obviously, the size of the guy, he's getting a lot of messages about it and stuff, and he's saying that he's getting messages asking him to weigh in on the situation. He mm -hmm. said, I'm sitting on the fence. I'm going to sit on the fence until I see Tony's then come back, reply to them. And if he can prove what he's saying is right, then if Grim comes out and says do it, then people are going to go, okay, oh, bye. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be, that's going to be interesting to see. Even though we all, everyone, well, I personally don't like them. I don't know what your opinions are on them, but imagine if Rip Trippers came out and said, I'm no longer working with Vupu. Ooh. That, yeah. that would hurt him a lot. Yeah, if Rip does it. But yeah. That's the thing. I think I think Rip Trippers holds himself aloof over most other reviewers. Pretty much every, every single reviewer. Because I, I, I haven't watched this stuff for a while, but it... Yeah. See, he used to be a reviewer, now he's just a promoter. Mm. I was going to say, it's uh, a reviewer very loosely in the term. Yeah. But, I mean, he's, he's the first one to crack a million subs, so congratulations oh, yeah. to him. Oh, God, yeah. On that, Did that he buy surprise. them, though, do you reckon? I don't know. I think he's just getting that many mods, and he's he literally, if you want to see something, but you don't want to watch a review on it, but you want to see sort of a showcase on it, Rip's got it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, have you, you seen this room that he's got in his house? The like room with the shelves. I stopped watching him. Uh, oh, God, about eight months ago. He's got a room in his house with every mod from that year, that year, that year, and it goes right round his entire house. Like this room he's got with every single mod ever pretty much released in his house. It's just like, oh, my God, that's like heaven for vape mods. <laughs> ah. 
Richard says they would not have sent the gene chip for the prototypes if they was not on board with Tony. Well, that's true. Yeah. Because hasn't Tony, he's got one, hasn't he? He's using one with the gene chip in it. Well, Bogan's got one as well. Yeah. I mean, I, I would love to get one with the gene chip just to say, hey, look, I've got one. Yeah, because it's it, rare. Yeah, but I, I bought the Rage mod over that. <laughs> I was like, yeah, look, I'll, I'll just get the Vandivate version when it comes out. See, I, I think Vupu are just going to send them out to reviewers anyway. I don't think they'll give a fuck because if the reviewer makes a video and says, I'm not reviewing this, but you've got it in the hand, it's sort of a promotion in a sense anyway. Press is press. Yeah. It, it'd it's be like interesting I was, to see. I was talking to a guy the other week, and obviously Grim has, hasn't done juice reviews now for years and things, but he was saying, and one of my mates I know who works in a shop who works with him himself, who imports the stuff, he said nowadays Grim doesn't have to do a juice review. Not that he ever would because he's that big anyway now, but all he has to say is, what am I vaping on? And hold a bottle of juice up. Just the fact that he is using sell. that product will sell. Yeah. And see, because uh, I've I've done a couple of juice review dry runs, and I just I'm not comfortable talking about a juice because I can't really, I can't say well I can taste this and I can taste that. I think for me, what I'm going to end up doing is just saying, oh, today I'm vaping with, um, for example, manga bees. Yeah. So, I think she's here. Is she alive? Yay! Oh, Queen of Buck Cups has arrived. Oh, I'm here. You're right. She's sort of here. She's sort of not. I'm going to have to do this live stream, live stream thing more often. I think. Well, I'll, I can even host one on my channel if you want, and get, spam your link out and see if they'll subscribe to you. Well, just because I'm just going to sit here and be ignorant and look at my phone. Holy shit. Well, yeah, I am going to have to do this a bit more often. <laughs> have you gained a few, yeah? Just a few. Like, I, I, I honestly thought, you know, I'm going to start a channel and I'll get maybe 30 or 40. And within that first month, I'd hit that 100 and I was like, well... Uh, at least someone's going to watch me, but I, I'm yet to get onto my my local Brisbane vaping group. We've got about four thousand members, so if I start pimping it out there, that'll be interesting. Well, when I started this one up after having the old original one with the old shop, I thought if I get even remotely close to the fifteen hundred I used to have, I'll be happy, and it's just gone. Because <laughs> uh, I started it. I started my channel just for for really giggles and you know something something different to do and then it turned into after the first couple it was like okay well I can do this I'm going to I'm going to try and interact and be a normal human being Oh James hey, back Hey there he is it Takes me longer to put my shoes on and put my coat on it just to set the dog out <laughs> You need slippers, mate. You'd be good. I've got. No, I, I try and sit and go through comments now, and it's impossible. I I, I only comment on videos that I, I can I, I sit and watch all the way through, and it, it's it gets it gets hard because you sit there and you think, well, what am I going to say? You know, and yes, I know you were number seventy six. I screenshotted it. <laughs> um, Chris, you were number I think. 14. Oh, cool. I think. Yeah, I'll, I'll always. Re I, there's ones that I'll always remember is Empire Vape Co. Vaping with Vic. Vic was in the 70. I think he was 72 or 73. Um, yeah, it was. It, it's interesting. And you, like my wife said, she goes, Oh, what are you going to do for your first 100 subscribers? You're going to do a giveaway. And I went, Fuck off. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have enough vape gear to give anything away. But no, I think I think I'm going to take a leaf out of your book, Chris. When I finally do hit a thousand, then I'll then I'll think about it. That's what I'm you've got to make sure. Yeah, you've got to make sure you've got the stuff. I mean, at the minute, I'm so behind with everything because of the time. Because I'm trying to 
get the queue down and then more stuff comes in and then I get the queue down and more stuff comes in again. I think I've got seven giveaways to do at the minute. Um, I see Cloud Ripper says Chris was my second subscriber, which made my whole day. You know, what? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if Michelle will remember this, but I was actually her first subscriber. I was a 19. Yes, you are. I was because I, I, I remember, I think it was on a, um, an Empire Vape Co live show on Facebook. I was like, oh, female reviewer. Yep, I'm there. <laughs> Michelle's flying at the minute. What do you want now, Michelle? About 600 nearly or something? I'll, I'll tell you. 570. Wow. And that, that's yeah. big. Because you, you started just after me. You, your first video was out just after my first. It's crazy, yeah. but I, I need to start promoting though. I just find it hard to put my face out there and go, "Hey, watch my shit." No, I'm, once I hit yeah, the, I, I can I can relate, but now I'm just plowing myself into somebody else as well as myself <laughs> in more literal terms before you start, Chris. <laughs> I didn't say nothing. <laughs> there no, may have been a slide. giggle. Yeah, no, what, one time no. a thousand, I'm going to do a giveaway for the um, Vapors Cloud Triple X. Oh, nice. God, it's getting yeah. hazy in this room. I've got I've to say, quick, um, Mike, your setup looks way better that way around. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with You've the way it looks space. at the moment. I'm, after the... Um, London Vape Show. I'll have a backdrop here with the channel logo on it. I'm getting one of them done by Tom as well. Well, before yeah. you always used to look wished like I will fit in this corner. <laughs> <laughs> well, where I where I was sitting is where that TV unit is now, in that corner. Yeah, because we used to get well, your little I squished in the yeah. corner. Uh, yeah, no, it's a little bit better. Still not happy with it, hundred percent, but it's better. Dave's really quiet as well. His audio is really low. I'm probably sat on the bleeding thing again. <laughs> How's it now? A little Still bit better. Quiet, Stop sitting on it. Cloud Ripper, uh, I'm just reading chat here. Cloud Ripper um, says, I thought that by May I would have 10 subs, and in my first day I have 16. Yeah. Nice. So what happens when you make good videos? Yeah. I went a month and only had 13. And I'm, I'm sitting at, I think it's 5 4, five, about 550 ish, 549, 550, something like that. That's good. I'm at okay. uh, 287 or something. Dave should have more as well, though, just, just for his little intro thing that I love. It's just so oh, cool. God, come yeah. in, come in. It's just a yes. yes. Yep. Dave's intro reminds me so much of Last of the Summer Wine. Yeah. <laughs> Don't start that, otherwise, I start playing it on the uh, harmonica. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, still, still, I'm, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. <laughs> you know, I'll just keep expecting Foggy to come walking across the screen. <laughs> What's all that about there? I still want bras. What? Someone said I still want bras in your reviews, Cloud. What? I've got to come up with a logo. That's my next thing. I've really got to come up with a logo. I was thinking about growing out the goatee and putting some Nordic rings in it and then use that as my logo. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. It's exactly what I'll be doing when this gets long enough. Yep. Because I, I used to have a full beard, and when it got into summertime, I thought, oh, I'm going to have to trim it off and, and make myself look presentable. But, yeah, thinking about growing this out. Really I need long. to shave it a minute. Right. 
Michelle, what are you vaping on tonight? <laughs> One guess. Yeah, this stuff is like, wow. As if anyone's seen the video, it's wow. The old uh, grapist. I think my hand's downstairs. I'm going to have to seriously pack this afternoon. My my local my local shop, every time I go around there, he gets pissed off because I take all the fancy shit. I took over my G-Class one day, and I think he had an orgasm right on the spot. Yeah. Well, that's getting better. I've got about three or four days. Yeah, I've got that one on the go. Calypso. Oh, Calypso. Yeah. Like, made that mating call against me. Right yeah. <laughs> It's like the, the call of the wild. The, 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 most, most guys turn around and go, huh? <laughs> you just show Mike a juice, don't you? He just goes. <laughs> 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 oh, just just imagine. I'm not putting a turban on. Can you just imagine no Mike at Expo? Mike walking around Expo now, someone shows him a mod, he just stops dead and goes, no, 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 Fucking chair nearly collapsed on me. <laughs> <laughs> I know these two are having like a rib off, aren't they? Michelle's got dodgy ribs. My Dave's got dodgy ribs. Yeah. Yeah, what happened to you, Michelle? I saw you post. What what did you actually do to yourself? There was a fucking drunk outside running around screaming at silly hours <laughs> of the night. Ran down the stairs to go and tell him to shut the fuck up. Went Flying and <laughs> crack crack to broken me. Oh god. Yeah. I didn't I wasn't even fucking pissed. I was pissed <laughs> to win mind. That's so good. Could you imagine like if you were if you no, were that drunk fella though? At like whatever time it was in the morning and someone <laughs> half asleep with purple air comes flying out the door at you. Get out Sorry of my street at any time. We live where we it's a square where we live. It's like houses it all go around in a square. Fourth time round of them going, I love Colombia and I thought, fuck this, I've had enough. <laughs> uh hastened to my I never actually got out the fucking heap on the floor. <sighs> I'm gonna have to get can cantankerous kiwi down. You're gonna have to come down, dude. And bring Kimbo with you. Go out and have a few drinks. Playing tug of war with your dog yet? Yeah, okay, that's definitely slang for something else. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Imagine that was playing tug of war with my dog. Just so happened to be in incognito mode and on Pornhub as well at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> God, it's going to be a hot day here. Oh. Well, it's a cold, windy night. Yeah, rub it in. Well, it did. It got it got quite chilly here for maybe two, three days, and everybody started it got freaking chilly. out. Yeah, chilly. What what temperature do you call chilly? Mm, about twenty degrees. Yeah. Yeah, it That's wasn't chilly. It was yeah, Everyone's getting around with big <laughs> coats and long pants on. And I'm like, dude, seriously. Yeah, and he walked outside and the Huntsman Spiders was wearing hoodies. Yeah. No, that was the drop. <laughs> 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 Someone else can really spend a laugh. M Michelle's stopped. Michelle's broken. Two <laughs> weeks extra recovery time after Chris now. Look at him. She's, she's, she's <laughs> trying to breathe. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's not how you know it's cold in Australia. You walk outside and the, the, the spiders are wearing hoodies. No, it's, you know it's bad when you see the drop bears start pulling hoodies up into the trees. Oh, you know you Because <laughs> you if they pull a camo up there, you know you're fucked. You can't see them coming. I can't believe they actually fucking drop out of trees and grab people. And see, this, this is what makes it funny. You people actually believe that there is such a thing as a drop bear. I thought there was. 
No, no. It's Australia. Everything else tries to kill you. Just going down to the Asda. You might not see me again. I might die of venom overdose on the corner. <laughs> no, that that drop bears. A drop bears came. Uh, the whole talk of it came around a few, well, a whole bunch of years ago now, just to try and stop um, Americans walking outside without putting a hat on. That was the story I was told, anyway. But yeah. There's actually a video getting around on the internet of two koala bears tearing each other apart in the middle of a in the middle of a highway. I thought, yeah, that's going to do the rounds. I need to go to Australia just to vlog that shit as Attenborough. Yeah, that would be amazing. <laughs> two koalas, look at them majestic fuckers go at each other for five rounds. We'll, we'll, we'll take you down to um, to Corumban Sanctuary and you should just give you a camera and say, "Have at it." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, that Monday vlog, literally, the mic was about 10, 15 centimetres that way. I moved it closer and did one day with that and went, right, this is happening. That didn't go in the vlog. The part that didn't go in the vlog is because when I was getting the mic positioning right, there was actually 25 minutes of Amber impressions that I just was amazed by because the echo off the mic was so close. Oh. No balding vapor. There's no such thing as drop bears. Unfortunately, not. Drop bears. We could make them a thing, though. Oh yeah, easy. There, I, I, I posted a picture in Empire Vape called Liverpool of a um a koala that had been hit by a rainstorm, and someone had photoshopped it so its mouth was open really bad. That's the closest thing to a drop bear that you'll see. Oh. Hello. <laughs> The content would be hilarious. Oh, yeah. Look at him drop out of the tree. He is now attempting to rip the face off that small <laughs> child. <laughs> Give me that shabba dib dab, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. My Michelle is dying again. I'd, I'd, I really want to go to an expo with you, Chris. Fucking hell. <laughs> I'd, I'd have to take some Valium or something before I go just to just to stave off the pain from laughing so much. I'm actually... My ribs better be fixed before expo. <laughs> Don't There's a couple of people said I need to start doing, like, comedy voiceover things on, like, a second channel or something, but... Yeah, what happened to your second channel? I know you had one. Is I'm still the there. I just haven't got the time to even do anything with it. Oh. I need to branch out and get some more gear going. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to use the Geek Vape Blade. I got the tank on that Geek Vape Blade, but I'm not a fan of it, eh? Uh, you haven't got a blade that looks like fucking Van Gogh's spear, have you? Yep. Oh, God. But it's dull. It, it, it's not as bright as what I thought it would be. Do you really should have called that the hangover version? Mm. Mine's quite bright. Mine's got orange, pink and purple on it. Matches my hair. It's actually not bad. Dave, you're really quiet again. Yeah. Um, Jesus shit, this is... It's like we threw Dave down a well and he's trying to shout up to us. It's yeah. just like really quiet. Yeah. Cloud Ripper, the view is the, the blade is really good for what it is. It's really good. If you don't want a quicker way, his name is Freddy. Freddy. <laughs> oh, I think I've done it. Uh, I think I've mastered the impression of Michelle as well. Oh, fuck uh -oh. off. Yeah, but she does this. She goes. <laughs> Go on. Stabilize Go on. Mod. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's the whole sort of she tries to do the whole sexy exhale, so she'll go like that. And it's <laughs> the thing is though I could oh, take nice. took, like a couple of her videos and just completely switch the words around and make a sound like she's saying something completely different. Oh, yeah. 
Freddie, I don't know because I haven't used the G box and I probably won't end up getting one because the I'm getting the rage. What one's the rage? It's the own boy OC. Uh, go to recoilrda.com right. yeah. and have a look at their skonker. It's gorgeous. It's, oh, yeah. it's so good. And you, you can't go past it because they've got the Rage Squonker for 99 or you can get the the Rage and a Rebel for 120 I was like, fuck it, I'm going to get another Rage. I'm going to get another uh, uh, re, uh, Rebel. Nice. I need to get nice. a Rebel. Yeah, I need to get a Rebel. I've only got the Recoil. I, uh, I got an I got an OG recoil squonk. That's going to be so good. Which was the later one they brought out? The rebel. The rebel. That's the one I've got. That's the recoil one. I, I I got my I got my recoil for my birthday last year, and I got my rebel this year. So hopefully he's working on another one so I can get it next year. <sighs> Kind of yawns like Chewbacca as well. Yeah. <laughs> right. And another hour. I've been up 24 hours. Jesus, mate. Cantankerous, come down and have a look at my drone, dude. It's expensive, but it's it's well worth it. And I, I, I actually went and played with the eScribe software on mine. See if I can show it on camera. Uh, let's see. No, it's not going to focus. There you go. Hey. I was surprised. I've actually got seven, seven and a half thousand hits on this thing. Right, yeah. When do you reckon you'll have them, um, Maypods in stock, Chris? Uh, hopefully next week. They got another order of them in. They, they had 2,000 and when I got mine. They had 600 left. Bloody hell. So what, they nick salt pods, or can you just put normal juice in it? No, they're refillable. They, um, they come empty. So oh, that's, the, that's the pod itself. And it fills on the bottom. There's a little like thing mm. there. <coughs> but the cool. pod's quite cool. I haven't filled this since I got it, and I've been really going for it. It's only half empty at the minute. Okay, now. But they are, it's, it's such a cool little mod, and it's battery life on it. It's brilliant. But you can use it as mouth along. Oh, if you, you can actually, you, you can sort of slow down vape on it, but you've got to take a really long go on it with the cloud. Yeah. Michelle's dying. Chris, did you yeah. want that to peel? Slowly. Um, it's there. No, I'm still fine. I had to glue mine. Top there, it started to uh, peel up near the button. My back is trying to have this off, but no, it's, it's still cool. Like, it's still all there. I was going to get one of those, but I wanted to order some T-shirts at the same time, and they didn't have any T-shirts in stock, so I was like, yeah, I'll wait. Do they take the um, iJoy coils? Do you take the Joytech coils in the Me One and its um, normal pods in this? But you can get a decent little cloud off it if you want, for such a small <laughs> little... Device. It's only got a 950 mile battery in it, but it's so cool. Ah, oh, no, it would be nice to get my hands on one. You can, we can't get pod systems here in Australia, though. I try. Right. Can't get a jewel. Can't get a bow. They just don't have them. I think it's because the the pods themselves come with Nick. Yeah, but, I'm, that's yeah. what I'm waiting for Nick to come over to the UK because that is completely empty now. My jewel, I can't use it. Just sit there. I mean, if I, if I could get a jewel, that would get my my mum off the smokes completely. Oh, it's the good. I used it in America to stop me from killing airline stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'll need something like that myself if I don't go to New Zealand. I mean, I, I go to New Zealand and check out um, the where they filmed the Hobbit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I think my mate said it It was about 40 hours in total. Journey's what? 
really. Yeah. Because he had um, from London to Dubai was the first leg. Then he had a seven-hour stop-off in <coughs> Dubai. Then they had to get another plane from Dubai to Melbourne. Had a two-hour stop-off in Melbourne. And then the last leg from Melbourne to... Uh, uh, what's the name of the place? Or is it Auckland? Yeah, o Auckland or Christchurch. Auckland. They said in total it was forty hours each way. Jeez, I got a friend who lives who lives in Christchurch, and she she'd been in Australia for quite a while. She went back to Christchurch after the big earthquake, and she said it's it's just absolutely destroyed. Yeah. Oh. They still haven't you? repaired most of it. Have you seen what they posted two hours ago? I've just seen it on Facebook now. Yes. What no. the fuck? That's going too far. Someone's made a vaping with Vic at gmail.com email address and they're trying to get stuff as Vic. Oh, um, what? But he knows who they are. Really? He's going to the police station. Good, good. It's oh. going to be one of them other than Nobeds off the other show, isn't it? Yeah. My poor little Vic alive. And whoever's making all the fake Twitter accounts will be one of them. Uh, there's a lot of that going around at the moment, isn't there? Making a Twitter account's funny, but making an actual flag email address to try and get products is just wrong. Yeah. <sighs> They'll never learn. Thing is, that kind of stuff now can get you in prison. Yep. Social media is admissible in court now. It certainly is. It has been for about a year now, hasn't right. it? I mean, we've all followed the, the Black Postman Twitter accounts because it's quite funny. Well, Shane got picked up on the... didn't he? On, on the witch. He said about Jay Hayes. What happened? Right, over here, they've got fake Twitter accounts for certain people, and Vic's got one, and Shane from Big Boy Coils, um, when it all kicks off with Posty and Jay Hayes, said something along the lines of, uh, I'll break your fucking neck or something, and that got put up on um, Vic's fake Twitter. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck is that background noise? Oh, it's probably my fan. It sounds Fair like enough. a fan. It's too, it's too hot here. It's what, how hot is it? Okay, stop rubbing it in. <laughs> yeah, uh, let's have a look. Have, we're supposed to be having the beast from the east back again this weekend. Oh, great. It's here, mini Michelle. Beast. The mini beast. What? 29.3 degrees. Oh, screw you. <laughs> All right, for some. <laughs> It feels like Michelle's killed Dave now. <laughs> Sorry, Dave's broken again. I should be careful because I know what it's like. Oh. It's about two degrees outside, blowing like fucking gold. Yeah, uh, it's there's not a cloud in the sky here. It's gonna be fucking hot as balls. And then you get the weirdos across. I got this old guy that lives across the road from me. He's an alcoholic gambler. And every like when I was doing my TAC 21 review, I was filming it. He's out the front and he's like, go, go. And I'm, I, I opened up the window. I said, fuck off, Larry. He's like, what are you doing? <laughs> he thinks I'm weird because I vape. If that was me and he was like around, he would be appearing in videos. Oh. He's I got like three teeth that. in his head. He's the nicest guy. We got home the other day and he was he was running up and down the street on his ride on lawnmower, pissed as a fart, threatening that the cops are going to come <laughs> and drag him away. He sounds amazing. Oh, he's great. <laughs> he's absolutely that. fantastic. I'd do that if I had a ride on lawnmower. It was so it was so funny. The the last time that he did it, pissed as a fart, going up and down. And I, I've got a, a low set house and he almost came off off the front into my front garden and he's there and he 
he comes out and he's there in his mind and my wife runs around she goes you need to come out the front i'm like why what's going on and i walk out there and there's this half naked drunk dude holding up a ride on lawnmower and he's laughing his head off I'm like oh god he's gonna die it's legit he's gonna kill himself if i lived with it over there and I, I would just get up here and sit on the front and just film that shit and i would make so many videos of that <laughs> Remind me not to get drunk at Expo. Oh, Chris, get her absolutely wasted. I'm dreading Expo because the amount of people that want to buy me drinks at the Expo, I'm going to probably be fucking wrecked by about half (laughs) twelve. It's going to be so damn messy. What did Dave say? You can't really quiet again. I said it might save you a three hundred quid bar bill. Oh, like last time, the night before we even went to the show. Yeah, that's a bad idea. Do you want to leave that kind of car behind the bar? Yes, and give me another 20 pints. Just like... <laughs> yeah, it's going to be so messy. I just think that the actual... I'm looking forward to it now. I've finally got a hotel for the night. The vlog on the Friday night or the videos from everyone on the Friday night is going to be hilarious. That's the one I'm dreading. I I've got to be fair... There. The Friday night is the only night I'm going to be drinking. Uh, I'm slightly pissed off that I'm going to be missing Friday at the actual expo itself. Yeah. Because I'll be driving up in the afternoon after work in the morning. See, I'm going to use the Friday to get everything done out of the way because the public day for me is probably going to just be stupid. Yeah. Oh, I just saw a picture. Grim Green on um, Instagram took a photo of the white rage mod. Oh God, that is gorgeous. To Instagram. <laughs> that is just sexy. Can it have my children? No, oh that, my that, God. It's beautiful, isn't it? Oh. Oh. You two say about my calls of the wild. Yeah, that's the see if I can see if I can pinch zoom it so you can actually see it. I don't know if it's going to focus in, but just look at that. It's gorgeous. Ooh. See, it, it's nice, but that would that wouldn't do for me because it would not stay white for long. Hmm. Not in my line of work. That's just beautiful. Where is he? Let's have a look. Yeah, that is gorgeous. It's chewy again. Yeah. No, I think I think the white would look really good with some um, stainless steel drippers. No, what you'll probably find is he'll he'll bring out a white rebel to go with it. Oh, I I ordered mine with the stainless steel. She's <laughs> broken. Good one, bald and vapor. <laughs> That's just gorgeous. Fucking love that mod. Can't wait till next month. Oh, vape shooter started as well. Yeah. We, oh, he's vape shooter one now. Yeah. Yeah. All right. They've, they've been going for about 20 minutes, I think. Well, oh, look at that. Hold on. All right, you need wait, to wait, dim wait. your screen. You need to dim your screen, Damien. That's fucked. All right. Well, I'm not going to fuck with that, but I'm boy. No, on your phone, I mean. Oh, okay. Hold on. Let me see. It's going to be hard to see, but check out own boy OC on it. He just posted a white one as well. That's gorgeous. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to jump off because I've got a couple of things to do and vape stews on. So I might throw that on and get some jobs done around the sure. house. But thank you all for jumping in. It has 
what a way to spend a Saturday morning. Yeah, I've got to go to, well, I'm up for work soon. <laughs> Sorry for keeping you up, dude. No, that's cool, don't we? I don't sleep anyway, hardly. Cheeky fucker, Richard Crawford. Mike will melt the mud. Well, <laughs> 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 oh, come on, your ass is toxic. We've all yeah. heard it. Yeah. And Jay smelt it. Oh. Yeah. But, well, I'm staying in front white, of but, you at Expo. Yeah, that's even that's not safe. No. Oh great. No, even that's not safe. Mike is going to be going cosplayers Chernobyl fucking hazardous incidents. <laughs> We're going to need that little detectors to go near them, aren't they? When they go, like, is it safe? <laughs> that's part. I might actually go there in a ghillie suit. <laughs> People go near Mike on the Friday. <laughs> No, he's hazardous. Go away from him. <laughs> I might actually have to stop off for a Harry mm, Ramsden's breakfast that. again as well. Oh, God. Get some baked beans and put some Satan shit in it. <laughs> oh. Oh. All right. Well, that's where I'm going to leave it, guys. Have fun. Thanks for jumping in. And um, you thank you to everyone that subscribed. It is very, very, very much appreciated. And um, yeah, TAC21 review will be out in the next couple of days. I just got to clean up a few little bits and then it'll be right to go again. Cheers. Nice Have one. fun. Nice Pasta, Take care, Dave. See you.